This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 1067 FM and iTalk1067.com. Also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint, Comfort Fit Dentures, Summit Regional Medical Center, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, and Horn Auto Center. And now, Sholo Ford presents high school football on iTalk 1067 right, FM and today. worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Very good evening, and thank you for joining us. As the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets, who suffered a what one might call a historic loss at Monument Valley last week, now down to 16 in the power rankings and playing host to Winslow in a battle of not just region rivals, but also one with huge playoff implications, as one might make the case that the winner of this is going to make the playoffs regardless of what happens next week. As they're already at midfield and ready for the toss. I believe Blue Ridge won and, like and elected to receive as I'm receive. Derek Palmer alongside Mikey G as we take a look at our Ace Hardware keys to the game. If you need a key made any day or night, any night of the week, you go to Ace Hardware. It has three mountain locations. And the big key when you're looking over at the Winslow Bulldogs, Keaton Klingsbury, uh, I beg your pardon, Kisslingbury, is uh, completing just 37% of his passes, good for a little more than 83 yards. He does hurt you with the legs, where he's rushed for uh, 262 yards on the year. But you really look, Mikey, at that passing number, and it seems as if the Yellow Jackets are allowing him to throw much beyond that. They might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This guy, you know, he's been able to sling the ball a lot this season. He's been able to hit his targets and stuff like that. So tonight, you know, it's going to be a big big thing for Blue Ridge to maybe, maybe come out and, you know, give him a little punch in the mouth and, you know, start off the game pretty quickly here for these Yellow Jackets. On the other side of that, Luke Berlin, the freshman quarterback for the Yellow Jackets, still throwing for 171 yards per game. Uh, we saw him have a really tough time, but against a really good team. Uh, even in the loss, going all the way up to Monument Valley, they were putting up a bunch of points. There was almost 100 points scored in that game. So you got a pretty good idea that Blue Ridge is looking to get well, especially on the defensive side, because I think it's safe to assume that the offense is going to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The offense is there for sure. I mean, Luke Berlin, I mean, as a freshman, you know, coming in and the doing this is a huge step. I mean, as a freshman, starting on a varsity team is a big thing. But, yeah, I mean, on the defensive tonight, side tonight is where this game is going to be won. They're going to have to be able to contain their quarterback over there on Winslow and hope they'll be able to do it tonight. So we're going to see what happens. Still waiting for the Yellow Jackets to come on out. There's an awful lot to talk about again as this is uh, a game that has all sorts of playoff implications after suffering that loss, that eye-opening loss, that bit of a shocking loss to Monument Valley. The Yellow Jackets still check in at number 16 in the, uh, the power rankings. Winslow, which had similarly suffered a loss, and so uh, let me dial that up for you. But they had uh, at one point been able to climb back into the power rankings and seemed as if they were ready to uh, to join the party. But they had uh, suffered a Thursday night loss at round no at home against Round Valley. They do not have the same scheduling uh, possibility, I guess, is the way of looking at it. As does Blue Ridge, which is going to finish its season at right, home against Round Valley. Well They're going to finish there uh, at Canado which Make is not going to provide the same Yellow sort Jackets. of of uh, PowerPoint potential, if I might use an alliteration. So that this is really a huge game here for both sides because uh, Winslow probably feeling confident going in next week. If they can secure this win, the Bulldogs, you, you can make a case, are probably going to sneak in. The Yellow Jackets are not going to suffer much if they are not able to beat Round Valley next week can look at this as win and get in. This is almost like a playoff game in and of itself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a winner-go-home situation for these teams right here. I mean, a loss can really hurt them. 
going into you know this you know going into November and going to this later type of the season and going to the playoffs. So tonight is definitely you know could be a must game win for both of these teams. So it's going to be a fun one to watch. Going to have kick for you as the Blue Ridge Yellow Ladies Jackets hosting Winslow coming up here Nationally. on Chola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Cholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center, using live market value, what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Get ready to start here, Winslow at Blue Ridge. Bulldogs four and four coming off of a loss at home to Round Valley. Blue Ridge lost its last two rivalry game against Sholo and then a little bit of a surprise losing at Monument Valley as the Yellow Jackets ready to take the field wearing yellow hats, purple tops, purple pants. Winslow wearing, I'm gonna call it scarlet. Scarlet hats, white tops, scarlet pants as this one set to get underway, ready to kick off. Indeed, if you're ready to kick off your college education, you should do so at Northland Pioneer College where you will pay the lowest tuition in the state. As ready to tee it up here, looks to be Vinny Capuccio, unless there is a number in front of that four. I think it's 14. If it is 14, yeah, it is. that makes more sense. That's Chance Lugo. He's the guy on the roster with the big K. Back to receive here for the Yellow Jackets is Elam Antonelli. Antonelli, one of the big playmakers for the Yellow Jackets. Chance Lugo, As take it off. It's teed up and kicked short and away from Antonelli, taken by one of the up men around the 20-yard line, looking for some blocking help as he zigs and zags over the 30 before Chance coming Slaughter. down to the 35. And it's going to be pretty good field position for the Yellow Jackets to, here in the like opening the drive. As coming off the sideline and ready to direct like Luke Berlin. He's completed 56% of his passes, throwing First, for 171 yards a game. And this is freshman campaign. And again, had a bunch of points that the Yellow Jackets scored last week at Monument Valley. But just could not get the stops that were needed as they now trot out onto the field. Berlin set to go into the backfield with Jace Barton, who's uh, starting left, coming back to the right. I don't think that's Berlin. I think that's number no, 15. That's Hunter Kraus. A little bit of a change up there as they fake the handoff. Kraus is gonna keep it over the left side. Gets over the 45 before he is tackled near midfield at the 49, a gain of 14, and a 
come for fit dentures first down. Yeah, great start there for the Blue Ridge offensive line, you know, being able to create a big gap there for the first offensive possession for these Yellow Jackets, allowing Krause to get through the hole. So, Already back at the line there, Krause in at quarterback, who's a sophomore, said to be 5'7", 170, and showing some pretty good foot speed there. As he's now under center, turns, gives in a big hole over midfield and down to the 45. As that it's one was, well, they're going to say Chase six. Barton. I almost said Seth Slaughter, but that's Barton. Gain six, make it second down. Barton running for 7.4 yards per carry. As a, a, perhaps a bit of a was surprise. Guillermo Clark with a tackle? Krause had 14 four, yards on his first carry. Now second and four, one minute into the ball game. And uh, the Yellow Jackets picking up right where they had left off last week as far as moving the football goes as they turn, give this time to Slaughter, stopped at the line, and then forced back for no gain. Seth with yeah, the it kind of looks like there was just a little bit of miscommunication in the backfield. Both the running backs bumped into each other and just no gain on weren't the able to get the ball across the line of scrimmage there. So that'll be third down and six after Slaughter isn't able to gain any. And here come the Yellow Jackets looking for the game's first third down conversion. A little more than a minute and a half in, there's no score. Had a big gain on first down and then a big gain on first down. Now moving the pocket as Kraus is going to be brought down in the backfield indeed. Back in Blue Ridge territory for a huge sack and a big loss of 10. Yeah, great job by that uh, right end there, Rudy Gonzalez. You know, was able to shed his block and get that sack there, right there on Hunter Krause. So good job by that Yellow Jacket defensive. I mean, that, my bad, that Bulldog defensive end. So back to receive here for the Bulldogs. This, this is Capuccio. As the clock's running at 9 minutes and 44 seconds, Capuccio, one of the bigger playmakers for the Bulldogs is he's waiting on his 20-yard line. Good snap pad, and a kick is away. Coverage is already down there. It takes a big hop straight into the air, and then a little bit of a Blue Ridge bounce over the 25. So a nice punt. And the Yellow Jackets the now bring in the defense back out there. And again, down around the 22, big game. Yard line. This is essentially a playoff game as whomever wins is going to uh, be able to at least continue to keep the hope alive. Mm -hmm. Losing this one's going to be tough to recover from for both. As the Yellow Jackets have a tough one to finish with Round Valley, and uh, there's just not a lot of help on the other end for Winslow playing Ganado to end the year. So off the sideline, we assume, comes Keaton uh, Kislingbury. And he is going to set up in the backfield with Isaiah Romero, who's averaging five yards a carry in his own right. Kislingbury is one to run it as well as the handoff is a straight give to Romero going to the right side, but he is stopped in the backfield. Isaiah and a Romero flag comes out late. By Carlo, Harris. Carlo Harris is there with the stop, but let's see what yeah, this flag's all about. Now. Looks like it's going to be a blocking infraction. So an illegal block in the back. I was waiting to see if we might get some audio, but won't. Makes it now yeah, first down and 20 it's after no game. So a really good block sign there running. for the Yellow Jacket front. Got the, uh, an illegal block attempting to try and create a hole. And not only did they get the stop at the line of scrimmage, if not the backfield, they're now also setting the tone that it's going to require an awful lot from the Bulldogs, who again spread it out wide. Three receivers going off to the right, single man left. From the shotgun, Kislingbury drops back with lots of time. Now starts moving to his right, still surveying down the field. Looks back to the left side where a man's got a little bit of space and nearly hauled in is Matthew Chittenden. Had been able to get a little bit of separation from Matthew Jake Esparza and a nice arm there. But uh, off the hands and incomplete, and got another right, flag waiting around the line of scrimmage. Yeah, but right there, I mean, you have to look at that Blur's defense. I mean, you know, that quarterback was running around in that pocket for a while, and uh, good job by uh, 41 on that uh, Blue Ridge defense. Uh, Jacob Sparza, you know, be able to still make that play out there on that ball field. and that receiver and make a, you know, be able to make a play and deflect it out of his hand. So good job by Sparza. They had a, a legal man downfield. 
Upton Winslow, and Blue Ridge's sideline says we don't need that one to set up second and 20. So Kislingbury's first pass goes incomplete. Five receivers set now as he's the only man in the backfield. Drops back looking to run. Trying the right side. Corralled. Tries to come back to the left and is able to just get a couple of yards beyond the line of scrimmage before he is gang tackled. First man there is Carlo Harris. By Malachi Dazen and Hanson DeClay. So two yards there for Kislingbury. Sets up now third in an awful lot. We just got an idea about what Kislingbury's arm strength is. So this is well within the realm of the possible. Just uh, can anybody get some separation, which, again, you look back at what had happened there with Chittenden, who was able to get a little bit of space between himself and Esparza and have that pass hit him in the hand. The Blue Ridge defense has to remain stout here as the clock hits eight minutes to play in the first quarter. No score. We got a correction and on that. That's hold on. Uh, Ogie. Aiden Ogie. Official blowing the play dead, having a conversation with his umpire. See if uh, nope, nope. And they just signaled to the Winslow sideline. Maybe there was a question about what the down was. Bulldogs did not know that Blue Ridge had opted to wave off that illegal man downfield flag. So third down and 17, seven minutes and 45 seconds left. As they start the option, running to the right, they're going to dump a pass out into the flat where it's had by Romero. Make a man miss and go along the far sideline and forced out of bounds after a gain of, I think it was for about 12. But uh, there's the benefit of forcing your opponent into a third and 17. Mm, yeah, smart job there by that de uh, Blue's defense. You know, even though they gained a, you know, a couple of bit of those yards back, they, you know, they were able to, you know, Hold them for, for that fourth down, you know, for this punt. Fourth but also, you know, seven. you got to give it to that Winslow team to drive, you know, keep this punt, you know, not too far back into their own, into their own uh, side of the field. High snap brought down. Kick is away, short, and takes a huge Winslow bounce. Good heavens, it's still going. Goes over the 30, goes all the way over the 20, Ryan and is finally going to roll dead at the 15. Be down down around the Yellow Jacket 14. How about that? Yeah, that was a, whew, that was a good punt. Looks like he's been working back there. You know, he's able to well, get Jack that roll and bounce it all the way around the 10-yard line, 15-yard line of the Yellow Jacket. So. so out comes the Blue Ridge offense. Was able to move the sticks once. stand is open. Had a 14-yard gain as Kraus yeah, hot cocoa, nachos, pizza, comes out as the candy. quarterback. A wide selection of and drinks. And he will remain. And your purchase is, Surveying the Yellow Jacket sideline for number 10. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. All right, just stand in there next to the coaches. Luke Berlin still in shoulder pads and a helmet and everything. As Krause comes out, got two receivers coming to the near side. One man in the backfield with another just off the line in the slot. Going to fake the handoff there. Krause keeps, tries to go to the left, and is going to be stood up there by a strong stop from Winslow. Mm -hmm. No, well, maybe about one yard. Krause hanging on to it. Yeah, it looks like Berlin's coming no in now. But, yeah, good job with that Winslow defense and able to come. You know, QB contained Kraus there. He's, he's, you know, he's just done a little bit with his feet so far this game. So good job by them the to contain him and get him down, you know, at the line of scrimmage. It's, we're about a one-yard gain there. So Kraus will remain. Slaughter comes off the field for the Yellow Jackets. Says, Here's the first play for Luke Berlin. We already set the stage for him as he has thrown for 56% of his passes and 171 yards. As now he takes the snap, drops back, rolls right, lays this one up and uh, out of bounds, where his intended man was Simmons. Nope, no, that is not that is Antonelli. Antonelli's overthrown. But it's going to fall incomplete. And uh, moving the pocket to the right, throwing that one pretty far downfield with the sideline operating as another uh, man in coverage. That was going to be a tough one to drop in there, but facing third down and nine with 6.42 to go. As I into the neutral zone come the Bulldogs. Let's wait to make it official. It seems as if both linesmen are suggesting that this is going to go against the Bulldogs, and the Yellow Jackets' job just got a little bit more simple. Yeah, that's a huge that's a huge penalty for those Jackets pushed up against their own end zone there, and, you know, able to pick up about five yards left, so now it's about a third of manageable. No score. And both sides now watching as the defenses have set the tone here in the early going. Single man in the backfield is Barton. He gets the call, tries to go to the right side, but again wow. going to be stood up. This and time there on the defense for the Winslow Bulldogs is Guillermo Clark. Mm. 
Good job Martin's by Clark there, you know, he was able to shed that Clark. block, you know, bring him down on that, you know, for only a, uh, I don't even think he got again there, you know, back to the line of scrimmage, so, again, you know, good job by the, you know, both defenses to start off this game, so this has been a good defensive battle so far. And look at the way that punt turned the field around. Winslow's defense jumps into the neutral zone on third and long and is able to now withstand a run to the right side, is now waiting for the ball with his heels on the five-yard line. Kicking one short, run up and grabbed. That's, Franco's beg your pardon, is up that is Capuccio who runs along the Blue Ridge 45 Capuccio. to gather that in. And is going to be stopped for no gain, but here come the Bulldogs with excellent Eric field Hernandez position. 5.51 to go here in the first quarter. And there's no score. Well, they're going to say he was back at the 47. Bulldogs on the Yellow Jackets 46. So it did not get much going offensively on Third and 17, Kisslingbury was able to connect with Romero for a nine-yard gain, but that came after they'd been moving backwards in large part because of a holding infraction. There's been three flags thrown against Winslow thus far here in the early going. And with this field position, they want to make sure that they are keeping the yellow off because they have a golden opportunity starting in Yellow Jacket territory. Mm. Kisslingbury, one for two, drops back and looking to his left. Now lays this one up where capuccio has got some space. He's going to run underneath it, grab it, and score it. A Mountain Dude, Mobile Auto Glass touchdown on a 47-yard strike between Kislingbury and Capuccio, and it's a 6-0 Winslow lead. Yeah, great job by Kislingbury there. You know, he was able to pay, place that ball perfectly. That was a beautiful ball over the shoulder there to his receiver. I'm pretty sure that was number four, Capaccio. So that was a great throw and catch there by those guys. And, you know, he was able to get past his defender there and come up with this early touchdown here for these Bulldogs. So good, good offensive possession there, you know, to come out the gate and score on that first drive. I mean, on that uh, first possession of this drive. Don't have a number 13 for Blue Ridge on our roster, but Esparza was also lurking, and Capuccio would just run right by them both. As in for the extra point is Chance Lugo, and That's it's up and good, good to make it 7 0. Winslow zero, leading with five seven. minutes and 44 seconds. A one play drive is going to get him on the board after they turn the field over with a great punt. Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Yellow Jackets now trailing 7 nothing after a uh, Keaton Kislinbury, Vinny Capuccio throw and catch from 47 yards out. Get him on the board. You're taking a look at the replay there, and Capuccio just sprinting down the sideline, and a nice delivery there by Kislinbury. And now the Yellow Jackets having to come from behind as back to receive this Northland Pioneer College kickoff is Ethan or Elam Antonelli. And reminder, when it's time to kick off your college education, do so at Northland Pioneer College. You'll pay the lowest tuition in the state as Antonelli's going to take this one at the 10. Sprints up the center of the field looking for some blockers as he runs into traffic, spins over the 30, and is eventually brought down at the 33. So not bad field position here for the Yellow Jackets, who had come out with Hunter yeah, Kraus as the initial quarterback. Sure. Then... One play into the previous series brought Luke Ty Berlin back out. He tried to throw one down the near sideline. It was going to be a tough way to drop it in and winds up pushing it out of bounds on third and long. Got the Bulldogs to jump off sides but couldn't take advantage on third and shorter. So coming back out to work from the shotgun is Berlin. On his right will be Jace Barton as everybody is bunched up near the line of scrimmage for the Yellow Jackets. Short drop here. Berlin pressured from behind. Still gets it away. Grabbed over the 35, maybe out to the 37 for a gain of five, but the freshman Luke got Berlin tagged from behind. Yeah, Berlin there. You know, he was able to get that pass away before like he got hit. Five, so that was, um, you know, that was, a, mm, that was a good way to get away from that ball there. You know, he was about to get smacked. So good play there. Give it up to Since Slaughter. He was able to get the five-yard reception, make it second down and five. 7-0, the Yellow Jackets are trailing. A slaughter right now set up off the 
Right end, going to come back into motion, take the hand off, and then start running away from a couple of defenders. Literally is running, retreating as he now cuts it back upfield and is somehow able to use the yeah, Hezzy to get all the way up over the 40. It looked like he was going to be stopped while retreating three. back at the original line of scrimmage. Instead, he gains three and sets up third and short. Yeah, that was a tough gain to three there, but you also have to look at, you know, these DNs for the Bulldogs here have been able to, you know, create some havoc to start this game. So, But Slaughter there, you know, was able to make something happen and gain, you know, a couple yards there for these Yellow Jackets. Esparza and Antonelli are wide left on third and two. Single back is Barton is going under center here, Berlin. And the Yellow Jackets sideline doesn't like the thought that is required here, so they're going to call a timeout, timeout before this third and three play with 4.51 to go in the first quarter, trailing 7 to nothing on Cholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting-edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Playbook's wide open here for Blue Ridge, though they're trailing a touchdown. Still in the very early going. Have been able to get some good runs going from the quarterback spot as well from Slaughter is right now he is off the edge on the left. Now comes in motion to the right side, stops to serve as an extra blocker as the handoff goes to Barton, just picks his way over to the 45, has a comfort fit Dentures first, first down, down on the gain of five. Yeah. Great patient Makes run there by noise. Barton. Yeah, great run there by Barton, you know, like exactly what there. Jay Barton was patient with the run. Gary. You know, he was able to let his offensive line, you know, pick up his blocks there, and he was able to squeeze in between them and pick up that first down here for the Yellow Jackets, so. Move it to the Blue Ridge 45, seven nothing Winslow leading with four minutes and 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Yellow Jackets have now two first downs, but Winslow has the touchdown. As they again send Berlin under center, Slaughter again going in motion to the left. As they're gonna drop it back, move the pocket to the right side, throw this one into traffic, but a leaping grab by Antonelli is gonna put it into Winslow territory the on the gate of 25. Antonelli is complete. Yeah, great job by Antonelli there. You know, he was able to come down that with the reception Krause there. That was Hunter in there throwing. Krause, you know, he was able to create and you know, it's a separation yellow jacket. there and Let's get away it. from his first, uh, you know, his first line of defense, and he was able to get around him and make that beautiful pass there. So, Krause, good job. Hunter Krause there sneaking in as he's going under center. They're going to have to keep a sharp eye on that as Barton gets the handoff and tries going to the right side, but Winslow's front closing all gaps. Taking a look now as they're Spartan, on the, the sideline is Berlin. I, I thought they, they, both of these quarterbacks, they move the same way. You got Krause who's a little bit stockier, but it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a tough job to make sure of uh, whether there's a zero or a five involved in the number. Krause remaining out there as his team's facing second and eight after Barton was able to gain two. It looked like he got stopped right at the line, but he uses his inertia to force his way out. Now got three receivers off to the left as Kraus goes under center, turns and gives, and a dive and is going to push it over the 30. That's Blind Franco through, Harris, gain, who has two. a strong run for two to set up a mid-range third down and Guillermo six. Guillermo Clark. Kraus, or excuse me, Harris is first carry Harris. as he averages about five per. But uh, when we were out here watching him play Sholo, he didn't get a lot of work as he's back there again, the single back. Kraus ready to go under center. If the receiver's on either side, that includes Slaughter, who's off the edge on the right. Again, Winslow crowding the line. All 11 players within five yards, and now got a little bit of movement. Question is, with somebody hey, in the neutral on zone, the but no, it looks like it's going to be a false start on that left side of the Blue Ridge line. Yeah, that's, not, a false start that's against not what Blue the Jackets wanted here. You know, they're already driving, and you get that penalty there. That's a killer for this drive. So that'll move behind the sticks. Got into Winslow territory with a 25-yard pass between Kraus and Antonelli. Go back to third and little. They get now with three first downs. Technically, Winslow yet to move the chains. They got the 47-yard touchdown. I say technically. They're going to score on single-play drives rather than grinding it out. I'm pretty sure the Bulldogs would take it. Right now, holding on to a seven-nothing lead. As Kraus goes under center, Slaughter in motion to the left, fake the handoff, and there's some pressure now as they read that one going over the top. 
And it's going to fall incomplete where the intended receiver was Harris. Pass to Franco. Harris is incomplete. Watched again that right side of the Winslow line. Looked like a couple of those players wanted to pursue the quarterback and instead Red Slaughter running out to the flat and just froze to try to make sure they were clogging up any passing lanes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they were just trying to drop back into coverage there, and which they did. You know, they were able to make that play there. And, you know, Krause threw a little ball in front of a receiver there, so. Barton's in the backfield. Harris split wide right. Esparza and Antonelli are on the left side. Now Slaughter joins them. On fourth down, try to set up a screen. Grabbed by Antonelli. He's got a fleet of blockers in front of him. He comes to the right side. Still on his feet as he gets over to the 20. Over to the near sideline where he remains upright before he's finally forced out of bounds. Yeah, good job by Berlin there. You know, again, you know, he was able to create separation there. He was able to, Luke you know, Berlin that guy was coming in hot. You know, he was complete. able to make Elam that pass there. And Antonelli and, you know, was able to get up, up a yellow know, jacket. Up a huge gain. So, First good down. job by Antonelli and that QB there, Berlin. So, you know, they've been able to connect, you know, a little bit lately. So, this was, this was huge for the Yellow Jackets. Berlin back in there at quarterback to throw that wide receiver screen as it's a gain of 17. So now 22 yards on two of three for Berlin as he's back still in there at quarterback under center. Gives way to Harris, goes to the right side, and he's able to dive over and the five Franco for a two yard on up first to down to make it now. Yard line. Maybe uh, second down and four. Yeah, the, the, the blocking for the this, uh, you know, this up front block and this drive for this Yellow Jackets have been really good. You know, they've been able to drive the ball downfield. So this is this has been a good, you know, comeback drive for these Yellow Jackets here. After they gave up the 47-yard pass on a single-play scoring drive, again, Winslow had turned the field around with a big punt. Now the Yellow Jackets just driving on it. was again go to Harris, bounces off tacklers at the line of scrimmage, falls at the goal line and over Franco and into the end zone for a score. Touchdown, a Yellow Jackets. Touchdown to make it 7-6 to six with a minute and 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Yeah, that's a great answering drive there for the Yellow Jackets to come down and score. Franco, you know, off the of a, you know, train, long drive Harris. There, you know, Harris able to punch it in for the Yellow Jackets, you know, put them, you know, be able to get a touchdown on the board here and hopefully they'll be able to tie it up with an extra point. Franco Harris with three carries on this drive, 13 yards, including the culminating scoring. Grineo kicking for the Yellow Jackets. Sparza is in holding for Grineo, who kicks this one well enough and good enough as he makes it 7 and to 7. With 39 with a minute and 39 quarter, seconds left to play in the first. It's seven. not it at 7 here on Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center to use them live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Well, what started as a bit of a defensive struggle is now opened up. The Bulldogs score on a 47-yard pass to Capuccio, who had just run right by a couple of the defenders in the Blue Ridge secondary. Then the Yellow Jackets get good field position after a short kick and are able to go 65 yards-ish on quite a few plays, convert a couple of third downs, and wind up making it 7-7. Seven to seven. And all thoughts of a defensive struggle, as of right now at least, are out the window. As here comes a Northland Pioneer College kickoff when it's time to kick off your college education. Do it at Northland Pioneer College. You'll pay the lowest tuition in the state. As Capuccio is one of the men back to receive. Cannot see who is to the right of him. As they're waiting at the 10, expecting a relatively short boot to get this but will be the third Bulldog drive underway. Grunillo on the approach and does indeed kick it short where it's going to be taken by Michael Romero Cortez, one of the up men. Starts running to his right, now cuts it up over the 30, still on his feet at the 35, and finally brought down as he approaches the 40. Hey, Michael Romero Excellent Cortez. Excellent field position here for the, the Bulldogs. They're going to start on their own 39. And coming He's out with Keaton Eden. Kisslingbury, who's two Bulldogs for three for 56 yards, but got 
Many of those yards coming on that 47-yard scoring pass between he and Capuccio as we take a look to see where Vinny Capuccio is going to come out lined up wide left and opposite again, number 13. Don't have number 13's name, but he's giving him a little bit more of a wide berth. Esparza lurking as he expects some pass to come. Instead, it's going to be a run that's going to be faked one way and then given way. Matthew Chittenden with to the carry. Chittenden, who's like going to try to cut two. it up, gains two. Yeah, that Yellow Jacket defense there, you know, they weren't fooled by that double reverse there. So, you know, they were able to pick it up and, you know, bring him down, you know, if not for a big gain there by that reverse there. Second down and eight. As Chittenden ordinarily averages more than eight yards a carry, but he is not in the backfield right now. Isaiah Romero is standing on Kislingbury's left, but coming back out there, Chittenden fake the handoff to him as rolling to the right side. Kislingbury throws this one up in a tough toss, but it's going to be hauled in by Brian Larson as he moves it into Blue Ridge territory. Pass to Brian Larson is complete. Game 18 Bulldogs. and a comfort fit denture first down. Yeah, good ball there by Kislingbury and a great grab that were receiver there over on the sideline, able to keep his feet in bounds and, you know, pick up this first down here for the Bulldogs. But, you know, you also have to give credit to the offensive line, you know, being able to hold, you know, a block for that long. You know, it's got to take some skill. So, you know, this, you know, this Blue, Blue Ridge and Winslow's offensive lines have been doing, you know, very well lately, so. 57 seconds left, tied up at seven. That was actually a 14-yard game as Chittenden comes in motion, gets this one on a jet sweep, slams on the brakes, and then cuts it back inside at the 40, still on his feet at the 30, trying to run through another tackler as he forces his way down to Matthew the 28. Did with the run, didn't want yeah, to go That was down. a huge run there. I mean, that was a big old run. You know, Seth strong, strong down, run. He was able to break through a couple down, tackles. Bulldogs. He's able to break through Harris, as you can see on the right there. Right here. He's able to bounce like up into the, the middle of the field and then get around and bounce a little bit to the outside, break a couple more tackles, and then he was finally brought down by a couple of those Yellow Jacket defenders. So that was a good run there, brother. Yeah. That yellow, I mean, that Winslow running back. Chittenden there with a 16 yard gain and a comfort fit denture first down. It hit the brakes hard before he cut that back inside toward the hash. He's now lined up in the slot as Romero's in the backfield. Fake the draw to him. Now they want to set up a screen. Nowhere for Kislinberry to go, so he continues to roll to the right. Now throws this one toward the goal line. Intended man. Uh, who was that? I think that was Tavian Garcia. Now, Indeed it was. A receiver there. But uh, the pass Garcia was well in front of him. Does that look like a busted Second play there by the Blue Ridge front seven? Kislingbury didn't have anywhere to go and makes a great decision to just throw that one uh, in the only place where his man could have got it and just were making sure they were going to throw this one out of bounds as well to preserve what's turned into a great possession. Started with excellent field position. Now moved into Blue Ridge territory as they stopped at the 29, second down and 10 with 18 and a half seconds to go. Chittenden going in motion, now sets up on the right side. Romero empties the backfield as he's off on the left with three receivers on the closed end. He goes in motion out of the right side. Fake the handoff. Kislinbury's going to keep coming to the left, looking for some blocking help as he gets toward the 25. The and is able to bully his way Levan down Tinelli. to the 24, maybe the 23. Now it looks like the 24. Gain of five. Like a gain of six. Make it third down and six. Yeah, there, you know, that was the first time we've seen Kislingberry really use his legs tonight. So there, you know, we were able to, you know, see it for ourselves and see what that speed's about. You know, right there, he was able to get quick first speed and get off field for these Bulldogs and keep this drive going. That's the final play of the first quarter. Seven to seven with a third down and uh, four or five and coming up here the for the quarter, Winslow Bulldogs on Children's Sports presentation Bulldogs of High School seven. Football on italk1067.com. You're heading over to concession Who stand. sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Start of the second quarter, tied up at seven, third down and five. 
Going to give this to Chittenden again after faking initial give, and I bought that. Berry, I was all to. over that. Chittenden able to run around the left edge. Chittenden. And I believe he has enough to move the chains. Chittenden Indeed, he does after a gain of six. Cardinal Harris, and a comfort fifth denture the first, down. first down. Harris was able to drag him down. It's going to be but first again, and ten Bulldogs. Excellent the misdirection. As it looked as if uh, it was going with a dive. And instead, Chittenden, who had really uh, almost stealthily snuck into motion and takes that one moving right to left and eventually is stopped in the red zone. 19-yard line, 11 and a half minutes to go. It's Chittenden again going in motion, and he's again going to get the call, cuts it up, now runs into the open field over the 10-5. Touchdown, Winslow. Yeah, great run by there Chittenden by Chittenden. You know, he's able to squeeze through that gap that the offensive line created for him. You know, he's been having a great, you know, he's been able to pick up, you know, these yards out here for these big boys in the front. Again, was able to pick up a touchdown there and put these Bulldogs up by a touchdown. You know, that was a big touchdown here. 43 yards, all but two of them coming on this drive. Is again averaging 8.1 yards per carry. Now 43 yards on four carries. I'm not good with math, but that seems as if he's besting his average. Oh, and they fumbled a snap. Now trying to make something happen, but can't do so as the Yellow Jackets were already swarming. So no good on the extra. 13 to 7. Winslow leading with 11 and minutes and 25 seconds Spain. to play in the half. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Yellow Jackets 7. Bull hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value, what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Born Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Winslow able to go with the short field. A 60-yard drive, making 13-7 after the poor snap. Keeps the extra point off the board. Now, with 11 minutes James and 25 Lugo seconds to, to go in the, the half, this is the Northland Pioneer College kickoff when it's time to kick off your college education. Do so at the school with the lowest tuition Senior in the state, starting at $40 a credit hour. That is a deal. As this one low and taken again by one of the up men, that's Slaughter. He can make stuff happen as he starts chipping his way up the center of the field and winds up falling over the Set, 40. So excellent ball. field position now He's for the Yellow Jackets, Spain. who have been working with two quarterbacks, keeping a sharp eye to see which one is coming off the sideline first, and it looks to be Berlin who's in the huddle. Berlin right now two for three for 22 yards. Hunter Kraus is one for two for 25 yards, but he's had a little bit more success making things happen with his feet than has the freshman in Berlin. Both of these quarterbacks, lower classmen. Berlin a freshman, Kraus a sophomore. As he's gonna walk into the backfield with Jace Barton behind him, he has 13 yards on four carries. Now the Yellow Jackets again trailing. This time 13 to seven, but great field position as they're starting on their own 42. Handoff this time, Barton was right behind Slaughter and is able to force his way up over the oh, 45 for a gain of three or four. Yeah, a tough gain like of four gain there. Of four. I mean, you know, he was able to squeeze through his line. He was able to pick up a four yards there. So, you know, this here it is again. I know we've said this so many times, but this is another big drive for these Yellow Jackets, you know, if they're able to pick up a touchdown and, you know, come point the point after. I mean, they'll be up in this game. So this would be a, this is a big drive right here, you know. Antonelli wide left as well as Esparza from the shotgun. Kraus with Barton on his left. Coming in motion to the left side, now Slaughter. As they're coming in this direction, he's got all sorts of space. Runs over the midfield marker before he's spun out of bounds. The Winslow 44 is good for a comfort his denture first down. And it's the after Yellow Jacket. The gain of 12. First down. Yeah, there he was, you know, he's very well protected by his offensive line. Was able to throw that little screen pass out there to Slaughter. I'm pretty sure that was. He was able to pick up, you know, that first down here for the Yellow Jackets. So, again, here goes these Yellow Jackets able to drive down the field. So, this is going to be a fun drive to watch. Got two men lined up here on the short side on the closed end. Slaughter again just off the line. Is this time straight drop there for Berlin. Throws this one down the far or the near side line where it's held underneath by Sparza, who is brought down by his flowing and locks. The pass to Jake Sparza is complete for a yellow oh. jacket. First down. That was one of those unexpected football moments where Sparza 
He's got the, the Troy Palomalu look. Uh, nice throw here from Berlin as you're looking at the replay. And a great job running underneath that there by Esparza. And look at, the, oh my goodness heavens, that has to hurt. Yeah, yeah, but that was a beautiful ball by Berlin. Was able to get it in there to Esparza and, you know, complete that, you know, that big old first down gain here. So these Yellow Jackets are moving quickly. Esparza now in motion going to the right side. Give way instead to Slaughter after a touch from Barton, who's going to cut up the near hash Touchdown. and run into the end zone for the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown With from 23 yards out. Yeah, those Yellow Jackets look like they, you know, looked a little something like, you know, those Winslow Bulldogs. Yeah, we got a tie game. With that double reverse, you know, handed off to Slaughter there, and it worked. I mean, it, that offensive line, you know, was able to create that big old gap for him, and Slaughter was able to squeeze through it with that speed and basically walk into the end zone there for the Yellow Jackets. And, tie this game up and hopefully they'll be able to put up this point after and take this lead in this game. The initial handoff went to Barton and everybody on the Winslow front bought it. That just opened Wait, everything Grineo up for Slaughter to get it in from 23 yards away. Grineo's extra point is up and good, and it is good. to make it a 14-13 Blue Ridge lead with 9 minutes 13, and 53 9, seconds 53. to play in the half. It's Sholo Ford's in presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, do so at Northland Pioneer College as you're taking a look at Slaughter's 23-yard run. But really, that call, that touchdown, I should say, coming off the sideline because it was a great call. Nicely executed there by Jace Barton to draw all the defense toward him. And as he handed it off to Slaughter, it was just uh, going to be a foot race because of uh, how well Everybody had bid on that one from the Winslow Bulldogs side. As now Granillo has it teed up. Got two receivers waiting at the 15. And here approaching the halftime where we remind you that the Honda Ski and Outdoor halftime report will come up as this one flirting with the uh, sideline. Instead, it's going to be taken there by Capuccio. And it took so long to get to him. There are oh, all sorts. Look at this. We, we, got, with the kickoff. we got some extra curriculars going. With the return. And a flag eventually comes out as Noah Chi Gonna was be none too happy on. with Chittenden. And you know. eventually they had to throw a flag because on the 25, you, you can't point and pursue on the play. for you know a, a full 10 count. Yeah, exactly. Unsportsmanlike has been signaled. So it would be uh, the worst field position, I believe, that Winslow had had. And instead, Chi, in a moment of passion, is going to uh, give the Bulldogs an extra 15. 12, 12 men on the field for Blue Ridge. That's one of those where you just don't know what First had happened the previous play the or two. Yeah. Exactly. I, I don't think that something had been said or had happened in that kickoff return that was going to lead to Chitten didn't making anybody that angry, but she was angry. First and now ten, excellent Bulldogs. field position again for the Bulldogs as they're at their own 39. Chitten didn't come in motion, nearly fumbling the snap, but now Kislinbury's going to keep, go over the right side and have a strong run of five as we start Bird, the drive. Uh, yeah, strong run right there by Kislinbury. You know, he five. fumbled that snap a little bit and, you know, almost hit the ground. He was able to pick it up. You know, was Carlo able to Harris, call his big old offensive Franco lineman Harris there and was able to pick up, you know, a pretty gruesome, what, two, three yards there. So he was able to take that head at the end and hold on to that ball. Looked like Chitten didn't had started you know, coming in motion a little bit too soon. Are charging at you. And he got an awful long way to run here. Kislinbury going to the sideline for every play. This one set up on the hash that's closest to us. Winslow's sideline away. Second and so five, Bulldogs. He's getting his steps in as he's facing a second down and six. Again, working from the shotgun. Man in the backfield is Romero. Fake the toss instead, hand it to Romero, who's now going to serpentine over the 50 and fall down in Blue Ridge territory at the 49. The first down. Gain seven. And has a comfort fit dentures first down. Stopped by Manny Rosales. Incidentally, Romero, who's been lining up in the backfield almost every play, that's his first run. He had that nine-yard catch on the first drive for the Bulldogs, but 
runs that one into Blue Ridge territory. And again, got to go back. Those first two drives looked like the defenses were completely setting the tone. Mm -hmm. Everything exactly. since then has not been so. The offense has totally taken over. Just, yeah, just flip sides of the ball I mean, for both of these teams. Man coming in motion now from the right to the left. Bounces off of a couple of tacklers. Still on his feet and somehow makes it Ryan right Larson back to the line of scrimmage. No is on that one's Brian Larson. But, man, it looked like he was going to be stopped for a couple of yards, but he just kept forcing like things. Anthony yeah, great job tackle. by Larson. You know, he was able to, yeah, exactly, keep his feet moving, was able to pick up. I mean, not met, didn't pick up any yards, but was able to get back to the line of scrimmage here for these, you know, for these Bulldogs. But, you know, this is a big second down. I mean, I know it's not, but you just got to keep going. You got to be able to get into a third and manageable here. I mean, this Blue defense has been playing good pretty well all night. Going from the shotgun again, Kisslingbury, who's three for five for 70 yards. Watches the man come in motion left to right. Now drops back. Sends this one out to Romero, who needs a little bit of blocking help. Picks it up in the 50, but there are three more tacklers in pursuit. Romero Stops him for a two-yard gain. Yeah, great job. Gain I mean, two. again, with this blue jacket, this blue gel jacket defense. I mean, they Looks just like won that Chief receiver there. Harris there was a little, little, little wheel route outside when he was able to get it to him, but, you know, that defense swarmed him and was able to get that tackle there. Third down and seven from the Blue Ridge 47. 7.31 to go. The Yellow Jackets took the opening kick. Looked like they got off to a hot start, gained 15 yards on the first run, and then six, but then the offense stalled. So it's going to be Winslow's football after halftime and making this a, a relatively large third down to try to hang on to possession. Is now moving the pocket to the left. Kisslingbury unloads and throws that one incomplete, trying to find Larson, but it incomplete was well pass. pursued by at least one Blue Ridge defender, and there was somebody else that was closing in from up front. So it's going to fall incomplete and going to provide the Yellow Jackets with a wealth of time here in the second quarter. Seven minutes and seven seconds, already leading 14 to 13. And you have to remember this stop coming in the second quarter because if this is going to continue to be something along the lines of exchanging touchdowns, the high snap brought down, can look back and say this might be when Blue Ridge won the football game as this one takes another huge Winslow bounce. Goes all the way over like the Brian 20. Brian Larson with the punt. And all the, close to the 10. Yeah, beautiful punt. I mean, it seems like both of the these punts tonight the have been able to get line. those rolls and, you know, pin them inside of their own 15, 20-yard line. So there was another one by that Bulldog punter. Been going with two quarterbacks today have the Yellow Jackets. Berlin, 4 of 5 for 57 yards. Kraus, 1 for 2 with 25 yards thrown. Kraus is off the sideline. Nope, that's Berlin. Kraus is not is not on the field. So it's going to be Berlin to start this one up with 6.55 to go until the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport halftime report. The Yellow Jackets took the lead on the last possession, now looking to expand. Two receivers out wide left, one of whom is Esparza. Now Slaughter coming in motion to the near side. Berlin, short drop from shotgun, sends this one out to Slaughter, makes the first man miss. He's up to the 20, over the near sideline. He's at the 30 to the 40, using a blocker, now accelerates over midfield, and he's gone. One man in pursuit. Capuccio trying to stop Eight Slaughter, but will not do so. It's Seth Slaughter, scores it from 89 yards away, a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown. Yeah, shifty footwork there for Slaughter. You know, he's able to get that ball from Berlin, and he was already, he already had noise. a defender on him. He was able to break away from that defender and, you know, he showed his speed. He was able to break down the sidelines. He was able to score that touchdown there for these Jackets. So these Jackets are rolling on the offensive offensive side of the ball here and are able to, you know, take momentum in this game, it seems like. 106 yards receiving now for mm. Seth also, Slaughter. You, yeah, that great block right there. That, that was Antonelli mm. who was able to provide the last little Three, nudge. The extra point. But so much of that, Slaughter... Got away from the first man. That was Romero, who was hoping to get the stop to st at and least prevent a large game. And as soon as he was able to make that first man miss, Capuccio was not going to be able to catch up to Slaughter, who makes it a 21 to 13 ball game with 6:39 to go in the half. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it. Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. 
Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. So each team with a one-play drive, Winslow's went 47 yards, but Slaughter connecting with Berlin. And it started on the 11 after a great punt. And this one runs for 89 yards as the Yellow Jackets have now scored on three consecutive possessions and lead 21 to 13. Trying to rebound after that loss to Monument Valley. And again, the offense did everything it could to try to get that win. It was just a defense that was having a hard time getting off the field. Almost 100 points scored in that ball game. So you know the Yellow Jacket offense is ready. Yeah. And here they are in the second quarter already with 21 points on the board. Had mentioned coming out of that that they got that stop. It looked as if the teams were going to exchange touchdowns. Kind of got the feeling that the first one to get the stop is going to put themselves in the driver's seat. And Blue Ridge put the exclamation point on that with the 89-yard touchdown. Mountain, excuse me, a Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, do so at NPC. Pay the lowest tuition in the state. And there's Granillo blasting one yeah, into, the, into end the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, a beautiful kick there by Granillo. And I will start this Winslow drive on the 20 yard line there. So this is a huge kick for that, you know, that Blue Ridge kicker there, the Granillo. And that that is a kind of an undersold portion of the football game here because the. There's been so much great field position enjoyed by both sides. Exactly. And after giving up the huge play to get the touchdown, Granillo says, you know what? It's Put this on the 20. Exactly, We're not playing yeah. around anymore. Yeah, they just want to show these guys what they're made of, you know, and just keep keep coming and keep coming and keep punching them in the mouth and just keep rolling. These guys are rolling right now, so we got to keep it going. Winslow has shown big playability, especially the case with the 47-yard pass, but Chittenden, running for 43 yards on four carries as he starts in the slot on the near side. Now coming in motion is Larson. Instead, the shotgun snap hat as they roll the pocket this direction and throw it back to Chittenden, looking for one block, and he gets it. He's over the 20, the 30, all the way out to the 40 before he's forced out of bounds. Like Isaiah Romero Flirting with, with the, the block in the back again for the Bulldogs. Down. They've already been whistled for that once, but no flag comes out as it's instead going to be a comfort fit denture first down. You see the block here that springs Chittenden yeah. It was close. I love that there's no flag. Let him play. Exactly. As this is actually not going to make it to the 40. It's going to be out to the 37. So a gain of 17 on that first down. Yeah, that was a big game by Chittenden there. I mean, that, those Bulldogs saw that exact play that Slaughter and Berlin ran there and just redid it with them. And we were able to pick up, you know, a pretty well gain there. First reception there for Chittenden as he comes around and takes this one again. Hooking over the left edge as he's again in the open field, over midfield. Still on his feet at the 40, taking tacklers down to the 35, and then finally hauled down at the 37. Matthew yeah, there's going to be a 26-yard gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that double reverse that these Bulldogs love to run. They did it again. You know, Chittenden was able to you know, break Chittenden through a hole down. there. He was able to get a lot of you know holes there from that Bulldogs offensive line. He was able to squeeze through one and pick up a big gain there for the Bulldogs. So, you know, can't be leaving them out yet. I mean, these Bulldogs are driving. I believe that was Kraus who was eventually able to hold him back. But, man, what a strong run there by Chittenden as he sends it down to the Yellow Jacket 34. Clock approaching six minutes to play and what's turned into just fireworks. It's like a 4th of July here on a brisk October evening as Chittenden again coming in motion. Fake the handoff and said Kissling, where he's going to keep this one, run over the left edge, get inside the 30 before he's brought down at the 26 for a gain of, I'm going to call it seven or eight. Yeah, great football smarts there by Kieslingberry. He was able to read that that end was going to collapse and, you know, was able to make that play and was able to take it out of that, you know, that running back stomach, was able to pick up that gain right there, was able to pick up an eight-yard gain for these Bulldogs. So they love using their feet. I mean, they were able to, you know, make that big old pass play down the sideline here, but a lot of them have been running plays that they love to run. Second down and a long two. Kisslingbury in the backfield with Romero, working from the shotgun. Two receivers coming out to the near side and said Romero gets the call. Steps left, hesitates, comes back to the right. Gains two, which is going to put him about a half yard short because it was closer to three than it was two. Say so we're going to be third down at less than a yard. Yeah, Rosales there, you know, who's able to Maybe shut that Rosales block of that, you know, that Winslow front was able to make that tackle there for only, I mean, didn't even give a gain there. So good job by Rosales. Third and two, time to make some noise, Blue Ridge. Scoreboard's still showing third and Put two. Put that defense up. Come on. I'd say it's a long one. As Kisslingbury's going to go under center. Romero's behind him. It's a keep. Ooh, and they got a huge surge, and it looks like it's going to be, wow, that is a big game. 
all the way out to the 20. It's like a gain of seven. Yeah. It's going to be first down. Bulldogs. Quarterback keep that they yeah. announce is a gain of seven. Yeah, you never really see QB sneaks, you know, for seven yards. There. They're usually for one-yard gains, but, hey, he was able to get it there. It's so. unfortunate that we can't put on the scoreboard offensive line yeah. in situations like that when they just try to keep that one and get that kind of surge. So they put it down to the 20. Back into the red zone go the Bulldogs. Four and a half minutes, 21-13. They're trailing, but marching. Chittenden again off on the right side as there's a bad snap. Falling on that one wisely is Kisslingbury, but it's going to go for a loss of nine. Oh, yeah, that's a break. That's a big break for the Jackets, but, oh, man, that's not good for those like Bulldogs a there. You know, they were driving. That, that, that snap wasn't it. Oh, it was just high. For, yeah, it was just over his head. Kisslingbury, though, he was able to jump on it before. I'm pretty sure of um, number 23 of Blue Ridge. We don't have his number, but he was able to jump on that and was able to get him down. And usually when you see a quarterback who can make things happen with his feet, Kind of got that voice in the back of the head saying, pick it up and pick do it up something. And take off. Yeah, but exactly, he but wisely just collapses on it. Mm -hmm. Going to say it's a gain uh, or a loss of seven. But second and 17, I think it's closer to 19. As there's three receivers coming out to the right side and a passing down. And now a delay of game. The Bulldogs have it Oh, they got the timeout first. Did they get the timeout first? Well, I thought they just signaled delay a game, but both sides are coming off the field as if a timeout had been called. What's going on? Flags out. Uh, hold on. No flag. The timeout was called in time. So 3.38 to go in the half, 21-13. Blue Ridge leading. Winslow calls the timeout here on Sheldon Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Coming in motion right to left. Toss it to him. Wanted to start the reverse instead. There's nobody there. It's fumbled, and it's going to be recovered by the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, that was, a, that was a mental mistake there. But I'm pretty sure that was number three on the Bulldogs there. I mean, uh, mm. Carlo Harris has right, the recovery. Carlo Harris with 24 the recovery it was there. for the Bulldogs there. You know, he was, I think he just made the what Chittenden. You know, he was able to come around. He just wasn't able to handle and just threw it at the wrong time. Oh, uh, Chittenden. Decided too late that he wanted to toss it to Capuccio, who thought that he was already going to run by him. Stop. You see here is he's, he doesn't get the ball, and he's like, all right, I'll go. And then he, he's unaware that mm -hmm. the ball had been tossed. Exactly. Unfortunate turn of events there as Chittenden had done so much to put his team in the red zone and now has the unforced error with three minutes and 33 seconds left in the Yellow Jackets now trying to get some serious separation as Berlin – Brought down immediately. What a rush there to get through the initial contact from the offensive line, and it looked as if Rudy Gonzalez, Rudy Even Gonzalez, uh, somebody had just expected to get a little bit of help there. Or did he just blow by? Yeah, he's oh right goodness, by. Was what Rudy a rush! Gonzalez with the sack wrapped up Berlin and just slammed him to the ground. I mean, we got a candidate for the Deemer's glass glass shattering hit of the game there. Mm -hmm. But what an Maybe impressive rush! Maybe 18 to or get so. a loss of oh, eight for Berlin. 34. And set up second down and long as the clock ticks under three minutes to play. Two receivers coming to this near side on the left. Try to set up a screen. This time had momentarily by Antonelli. He can't haul it in as a flag comes out. Mm, yeah, Antonelli there. I think he was just thinking about going up. Field. A flag I got hit the right play, there by that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that might have been receiver. number three for the Bulldogs there. Isaiah Romero was able to come up and make that hit and draw that ball loose before. I mean, yeah, Antonelli didn't have the ball complete in his hands still, but you gotta give, got to give props to that corner coming in and making that hit. Holding whistled against the Yellow Jackets, who are watching as a golden opportunity starts slipping through their fingers, pushed all the way back to their own 34. They had possession on their own 41 after the fumble. 
So they got to get over midfield to move the chains with two minutes and 48 seconds left. But got a man lined up here on the far side, Nantinelli, as well as Esparza. Oh, they slaughter the yellow off the edge. Second and, and Blue Ridge needs to talk about it. 2.38 to go until halftime. 21-13, the Jackets lead on Joel Ford's presentation of Pittsburgh football on iTalk1067.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you After the timeout, two minutes and 38 seconds to play until halftime. Reminder that the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport halftime report will be coming up at intermission. It's senior day here at Blue Ridge, and they're going to be uh, bringing some more out after having celebrated the football team, cheer squad, band. They're going to get a few more names read. As it's second down and 27 after an illegal block, Slaughter coming in motion to the near side. They're trying to get it to him as it's held up and contacted. And yeah, there comes was, the flag. Yeah, that was a uh, that ball was just thrown up there for Berlin. I mean, that was just a ball that could have been intercepted. It was a 50-50 ball there, but the, I'm pretty sure that might have been the corner there, number four, Capaccio for Winslow, or that was number five. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Quine, Gino Quinones. Quinones just ran into him before the before the ball even got there. So pass, pass interference, interference is called, and that's. Going to move it up 15 yards. I don't believe in high school that's an automatic first. So it'll remain. Second and, it's and a, 11. Uh, Yellow Jackets on their own yeah, second, 39. Goes from second and 27 Make a little to second noise. and 12. They're uh, perhaps uh, back into the frying pan. That's one way of looking at it. Second and 12. As Berlin drops back, looking left the whole way, eventually hits Sparza, who hesitates, gets a block, but to Jake. still has two Is tacklers complete. to deal with as he pushes that one over like the 46, gain seven, seven, and it's going to be third down and manageable. Yeah, Berlin there, you know, he was able to create time in the pocket, was waiting for his receiver, Sparza, to come across the field on that little drag route that they were running and was able to get it to him on the sideline and, you know, was able to pick up. Second mm. down, long six. Berlin's already thrown for 153 yards. Slaughter again off the edge on the right side. He's been coming in motion in this direction an awful lot. There's three good playmakers once they do so. Jace Barton has been quiet here in the second quarter, but he's been really leaning on Berlin's arm. But now he gets the call. Steps through one tackler to get over the 45, but well played at the Jace second Barton. level as stopping him is tied to Spain. It'll gain two. It'll be fourth and five. Make it fourth and five, and now I believe Winslow is trying to Tied preserve some clock. Calls timeout with two minutes and nine seconds remaining. Yeah, Trailing 21 to 13 on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Athlete, if you could make your way over Taking to the a timeout here to preserve two minutes side. and nine seconds. Winslow, I be believe, will have one more. On the cross-country team. The expectation is the Yellow Jackets are going to punt, but Blue Ridge huddled up tightly. So, uh, it would be gutsy to try to go for it on fourth and five in Winslow or in your own territory. Got Berlin, who's about five yards behind the line, drops back and looking like he's going for it the whole way. Throw this one out for Slaughter, but it's intercepted. 
taken away at the 40 and then brought down by Slaughter near midfield. So it's a nice gamble Says Slaughter in large part because intercepted. They're, they're not really going to lose many yards. Jordan it's going to be tantamount to a 10-yard punt. But might as well go if you have this kind of confidence in your defense. Exactly. Brinkley, you know, he was in coverage there. He was able to slip behind, slip behind Slaughter there and was able to, come, you know, come up with that interception. So smart play by that corner there. You know, was able to, exactly like I said, he was able to come Oof. around him. You could see it in this replay and was just Great able to jump play. up and get it. So. Steps in front from behind. I think Slaughter thought that he was going to have that one with the positioning, but Brinkley just ducking underneath and in front. Exactly. And is able to take it away. And here's Winslow with, tell me if you heard this before, excellent field position. Hand off to Romero. No, nope, no, nope, there's another give to Chittenden who's going to go down the far sideline. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. And look at the burst into the end zone for the score. 52 yards out on the it's Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown. And uh, wow. I keep Chitton fighting these picks. Yeah, Chitton in there, I mean, you know, was able to bounce outside, was able to pick up that touchdown. Yeah, it's his second touchdown of the game. Was able to make a Sparza miss, as you could see on your screen. But, yeah, exactly, as we could hear it in the van. I mean, yeah, this guy's got crazy speed. He's able to break away from some pretty fast defenders here on this Blue Ridge roster. So, again, there's number two. So, let's see if he can just keep going, maybe get a little hot chick out of this. That initial fake to Larson, and I was all parent, over it. senior cross-country athlete, yeah. please make your way to the north. Chittenden, by the, the time I had realized he'd had the football, he was already at the 40. Yeah. And then that speed is they got to go for two, having missed the extra point, and they're going to miss this one as well. And I think it was another bad snap. Kisling where he just could, couldn't get his hands on that one in time. Yeah, that's twice for this Blue Ridge uh, PAT defense, and we're able to come away with this stop, you know. We're able to keep it in 21-19 score. So a minute 52 hey, remaining, 21-19. to 19. we got a ball game here at Blue Ridge High School on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. One fifty-two left here in the second quarter. In Reminder: at halftime, we've got an awful lot to discuss. It's going to be the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport halftime report. As after each offense comes up empty on its first possession, since then it's just been haymaker, haymaker, haymaker. Scoring plays of forty-seven yards, eighty-nine yards, fifty-two yards on this. The Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, do so at Northland Pioneer College, where you'll pay the lowest tuition in the state. Again, and taken Seth. by the upman, Seth Slaughter. This time, Grab the not as able Stop to find as much space as Isaiah he had Romero. previously, but still not bad field position here first and ten. for Jackson the Yellow Jackets, who I believe have two timeouts remaining and a minute and 48 seconds to work with. But Blue Ridge have plays of 89 yards, of course, that scoring drive. 17-yard pass, 23-yard pass, and a big 23-yard run by Slaughter that was one of the touchdowns as he sets up off the left edge. Two receivers going out wide right, single man in the backfield, Barton. Berlin ready to work in the shotgun as Slaughter goes in motion, waits for the shotgun snap. A little bit of pressure as he's able to get this one away. He's got Antonelli with all sorts of space, but he can't haul it in. Antonelli there, that was a beautiful by Berlin Fast off of his back foot. Antonelli he had a, incomplete. I'm pretty sure that was a 55 of that defensive end again on Winslow. Um, Rudy Gonzalez was in his face. He kind of just threw that up there, but, yeah, he had his man wide open. It just went through his hands. I thought the maybe the Capuccio had knocked that out, but country that was just uh, Antonelli not looking at all the way in. That, the marching band is, is now second and ten, mitten 42 perform. seconds left. And still a two-point ball game. The Yellow Jackets in front. Two receivers, now get three going out wide to the right as Barton gets the call, starts running in that direction. He's got a little bit of room to work with Jay's as he goes Barton. over to 35 and approaches the 40. Gains six. That'll be third down and four with 90 seconds remaining and a timeout being taken by which side? Timeout taken by Winslow. Winslow taking the timeout to make it. Uh, potentially uh, try to preserve Mountain Mobile Auto Glass intent. Haymakers have been thrown. Uh -huh. 
Clark Barton, with that's just his seventh carry, 25 yards, as he's averaging 75 and 7.4 per carry. And it, I want to give uh, a little bit of tribute here to the interior of Winslow's line that might be why they've had to go away from him a little bit. Not that they've completely gone away from him, but still that Got a final getting the ball to the Valley playmakers yeah. to on the outside have been making it Over much, much, much more yards on that one than just trying to work with Barton on the interior. Yeah, this defensive well, front for these Bulldogs, you know, they've, been, they've showed off tonight, like, who they are, you know what I mean? Steel. I mean, number 55, again, we mentioned his name so many times. Rudy Gonzalez, that defense end over there for these Bulldogs. These He's made a couple few plays tonight. Athletes. You know, that whole line up front, they've been making plays all night for third these Bulldogs. Third and four, Bulldogs, Yellow Jackets so. under 39. After Winslow uses a timeout, at minute and 31 seconds left, third down and four. As Slaughter sets up off the right edge, and now a late entry, Tyson Threadgill is going to come out and set up also on that right edge. Slaughter coming in motion and gets the call, runs through one tackle in the backfield, cuts it back to his right, but can't evade the second man. Yeah, great tackle there by number 72, Guillermo Clark. He was able to, you know, get him off. He's a Guillermo quick guy. Clark. Slaughter, you know, he was able to bounce away from that one tackle there. And then Clark, you know, was able to wrap him up and bring him down. So Clark there, he was able to get away with a big tackle there. Now the Yellow Jackets just went for it in the same neck of the woods on fourth and five. Now fourth and three and are able to get and we got a couple of different players now. into the Please neutral see. zone. But the greatest infraction was Rudy, Rudy Gonzalez. Down. Yellow yeah. Jackets. Dang. Make some That's noise, big, Blue Ridge. Big break for Blue Ridge there. I think this drive's still going. They have about, about a minute left with uh, how many timeouts do they have? I think they have two. Two. That's two. a comfort fit. Denture's first down. A little over a minute left Sends in the half. Sends this one into the 46 of Blue Ridge. Leading two, looking for more. From the shotgun. Drop back, Berlin looking down this near sideline. Rancinelli again with space, but nicely done there by Capuccio to make sure that he was not able to get all the separation. Nice Both players position jockeying complete. for position. Yeah, Capuccio here, he's had a turnaround. You know, he had that one ball that was thrown on him, you know, over that. You, uh, Antonelli scored on him. I'm pretty sure that's who that ball was thrown to when he scored that long touchdown for the Yellow Jackets. But yeah, he's been able to come up with a couple of big plays tonight, you know, after he had that touchdown catch on him. So, way to turn around good. Second down and 10. Still lots of time as they're going to send four receivers lined up wide right. Nobody's in the backfield with Berlin. Sets up a screen, but it's low, and Antonelli can't get underneath it. But look at all the Looks white like in the backfield. Yeah, yeah, look at that defensive front for those Bulldogs. Again, in Berlin's face like they've been in his face all night. So making it third down and ten. As, again, leading the charge was Rudy Gonzalez, but Guillermo Clark has also been uh, thinking about filing a change of address for him. They've spent a lot of time in the Blue Ridge backfield as Berlin's got Barton to work with. Gives him the handoff, starts bouncing it outside. He's at the 50, he's at the 45. He would have enough for a first down, but a flag came Jace out. Barton. Yeah, good run by Barton, though. You know, he Looks hasn't like had many first. carries this second quarter, but right there he was able to pick up a pretty, yard gain, a pretty good gain there. So I'm not sure what the flag on the field is here, but... I think we got a hold. Yeah, hold. So, if that's a spot foul. Yeah, it's a holding call against Blue Ridge. It'll be third down, and they're moving it back to the 36, so third and 20. And Blue Ridge wants a timeout. We'll take it with them with 46 seconds to play here in the half. 21-19, the Yellow Jackets lead on Children Ford's presentation uh, of high school football on italk1067.com. Timeout called by the Yellow Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. These community activities. 45 seconds to play in the half, 21-19. 
The Yellow Jackets leading the Bulldogs in a first half that has been marked by big, big plays. And one must wonder now if Blue Ridge is content to take a two-point lead. I don't think Winslow can stop the clock. So the Yellow Jackets keep it on the ground. Winslow's not going to have an awful lot of time to do anything. But convention has kind of been thrown to the side here. As they're dropping back Berlin, looking over the middle, where it's picked off. Picked off at the 40. Gino Canonis is there with the interception. And there's 40 seconds left. Yeah, and again, big play opportunity uh -huh. here for Winslow. Exactly, but yeah, big the interception there for uh, Canonis. You know, he's able to come out with that interception there with 40 seconds left 40 in, seconds in this left half. So, you know, they're, he's going to be he's gonna be able to give his offensive here about maybe three or four plays off of this. So yeah, but quadruple coverage. Yeah, he just throws, kind of just threw that ball in there. Again, Berlin, a freshman. And uh, there's, you see it there. Four Winslow defenders surrounding two Blue Ridge receivers. And now on their own 40, 21-19. Bulldogs trying to make something happen in their closing moments. Five receivers set, Chittenden coming in motion, and he gets the call. Moving over the left edge, looking for some blockers as he cuts it up to the 45, but great job there in the Chittenden second level by the Yellow Jacket defense to keep it to just a five yard gain. Clock running at 30 seconds. Winslow can't stop the clock. So trying to hurry to the line. Now 20 seconds left. And finally getting the playoff with 15. Moving to the near side and the short hop in his receiver was Kislinbury. But it does stop play with 12 and a half seconds to go. But there's still an awful lot of real estate in front of them. Yeah, exactly. They got a lot of yards to pick up here. So mm, I don't know what they're going to do. They have a couple plays in their playbook. You know, they've been able to run that double reverse pretty well. With um, their running backs on the with uh, mm. Chittenden now, he's Chittenden, yeah. slowly making his way toward the huddle. It's third down and five, but the 45 yards, I think, is the bigger deal. I beg your pardon, 55 yards that they need. It's on the 45. So keep an eye out for Brian, who's one of the players that they like to use the fake with. He's off in the slot on the left side, but it looks like they're going Go for it. There's a huge rush there that... Kislingbury's wow. able to get away from now throws this one for Chittenden. It's incomplete. Kislingbury under a lot of pressure. That's the, the third down play Fires with six seconds remaining. It should bring the punting unit out just to try to Chittenden make sure that they're preserving now a two point deficit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Kislingbury there was able to get away from two tackles. He was he was able to get away from Harris, who was just coming at him like a bullet shot right out of a cannon. Four and and he was right there. On there but, and then he was able to dodge one rolling out again, but he was just not able to hit that pass. On the final play, they're going to run on. If this doesn't take six seconds, the Yellow Jackets are going to have an opportunity, but it should take six seconds as it's knocked out of bounds. No, it does not. Okay, so Blue Ridge can throw it into the end zone. Three-tenths of a second remaining. Yeah, so they're going to take a shot right here to the end zone. At least that's what I would think they would do. Because Berlin's got an arm to him as a freshman, and he's been able to sling it down the field. I mean, they're on the Winslow 45. Exactly, so. yeah. Let's see what kind of arm the young man has. This is going to be a huge opportunity for the huge players along Winslow's defensive front. Rudy Gonzalez and Guillermo Clark right now got to be licking their chops because Berlin's going to be attempting to allow his receivers to run 45 yards up the field. Again, with just three-tenths of a second, they got an opportunity because it just did not take enough time. It took 5.6 seconds. They needed 5.9. Now Antonelli going all the way First over from the jackets. left to the right side. There's three receivers off here on the right. Now unloading this one, looking for Antonelli, but it's oh, knocked away and incomplete. So it looks as if yes, Berlin could not get it 45 yards open. upfield, but still they had an also opportunity. The and they'll go into the locker room, leading 21 to 19 at the half. The Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Halftime Report starts now here on Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at sholoford.com. 
You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you snowflake lakeside and now sholo and with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tint you can trust the experts at mountain mobile auto glass and tint with your vehicle call them today just call five three six five nine seven two mountain mobile auto glass cash back to you hi i'm dr arno I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting-edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. 
You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. And Van Hinton. Halftime here. It's the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport Halftime Report at Blue Ridge High School where the Yellow Jackets lead 21 Sports. to 19. Hobbies this has started off. Mountain with a watermelon and 21 to 19 at halftime. Yellow Jackets are leading as uh, Luke Berlin has thrown for 153 yards. 106 of them going to Seth Slaughter. He's been able to get an awful lot from Slaughter on the ground as well as he has two of the three score touchdowns. But there's been big Jordan plays galore. 89 yard. Uh, passing play to Slaughter, 23-yard run on the other side of it, a 47-yard pass play to Capuccio, and a 52-yard run from Chittenden. As uh, there's been all sorts happening, as we're going to go ahead and allow them to finish their senior day, and we'll continue the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Boyd. Halftime Report after this on Shoulder Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting-edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. 
We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. You think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1 888 Glassman. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting-edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. 
Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. All right, halftime is over. Seniors have been celebrated. As it's a chilly night, it, the temperature has plummeted at halftime, I think. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it just it just happened. It went from brisk to what? Yes. But they put 12 minutes up for the third quarter. 21-19, Blue Ridge leading as the Yellow Jackets have been able to get more big plays thus far than Winslow. But having to kick it off here to the Bulldogs and Matthew Chittenden, who has uh, rushed for 126 yards on just seven carries, had a scoring run of 52 yards. And Blue Ridge right now trying to shore up the defense, having uh, given up more than 50 points to Monument Valley last week, right now on pace to get in the neighborhood of 40 the second half here. with Winslow right now. Yellow I think Jackets, he probably spent halftime just trying to figure out 
how to get the ball to Chittenden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Chittenden's had a big first half. He's been able to carry the ball a lot for these Bulldogs. So they're definitely going to be looking at him again in the second half. And, you know, hopefully these uh, Yellow Jackets will be able to, come, you know, maybe make it up an answer for them, you know, because he's been running all over them tonight. Reed Grenier ready to kick off for Northland Pioneer College. The Northland Pioneer College kickoff, I should say, when it's time to kick off your college education. Do so at Northland Pioneer College. Pay the lowest tuition in the state is that one by the nose of the football. Well, maybe the length of the football is able to roll into the end zone. I think that was uh, Capuccio who let that one go over and thought it was going to be a little bit more of a certainty, and then he had a moment of panic. Oh, welcome to adulthood, young man. All right. Bulldogs coming out with Keaton Kisslingbury, who's 5 of 10 for 89 yards. His favorite target. Well, he actually spread it around. But Romero has two of the five for 11 yards, but 47 yards to Vinny Capuccio, who was able to get both teams on the board first. The Yellow Jackets with the player laid off the sideline. Kisslingbury showing some kindness as Chittenden coming in motion, fake the toss to him, instead hand it off to Romero. He is able to find a little bit of space as he goes over the 25 to the 26. And that one looked like he was going to get stopped for Romero no gain, but carry? he found a burst. Yeah, Romero there, you it's know, like he was able to come out of the half there with a pretty decent run, six-yard six yard run right there to start off this half. So that's a it's a pretty good run to start off this half. This is a big this is a big drive, in my opinion, for these Bulldogs because, you know, they're down by two points in this game, but... You know, they'd be a, this Blue Ridge team, you know, they've been able to drive pretty well on offense. So both of, both of these teams have. So 126 yards from Chittenden, and I think everybody, myself included, was looking for him to get that as he went in motion, moving to the left. Here he goes, angling toward the quarterback, as this time it's another fake. Kisslenberg is going to keep it as he starts moving to the left side, trying to step around a tackler, but wrapped up and brought down with authority, Carlo Harris. Yeah. They're making sure he doesn't get more than a couple yards. Yeah, Harris. good smack there by Harris. You know, that QB for Winslow, Kils Kislingbury, has been able to be running around on them all night. And, you know, right here he was able to contain them and hold them for, you know, about a one-yard gain. So that was a good job. Going to call it third down and four. As Winslow huddled up, and again, with the big plays that have been happening, Big third down. Bulldogs don't want to go three and out as Berlin is warming up on the Blue Ridge sideline. Romero standing on the right. Brian in motion as they fake the handoff to him. Kisslingbury keeps, dump, jumps over the 30 and should have enough for a comfort fit Denture's first down there. Again, I believe everybody, myself Frank included, Harris, or perhaps it's it's myself especially, expecting down, that one to go to the man in motion. And Kisslingbury making the right call, pulling it back and picking it up on the dive to move the chains with 10 minutes and 22 seconds left. This is probably if Winslow is able to continue to manufacture these three, four, five-yard runs and just keep Blue Ridge's offense off the sideline, what the doctor would have ordered for the Bulldogs because I don't think they want to get into something that's going to involve as much haymakers that are being tossed. Is now a new look from the pistol. Turn and give as, no, they're going to fake it. Brian. Running this one over the left side is instead going to be thrown up in for Puccio, but instead going to be picked off by Slaughter as he starts cutting it to the far side. He is already in Winslow territory, looking for some blocking help as he gets over the 40, and will finally be held up at the 35, Capuccio down to the 34. Receiver, Capuccio was Seth indeed Slaughter. the re intended receiver, but Slaughter, who's having himself a day, picks it off and now sets the Yellow Jackets up with excellent field position. Man was slow getting up there for the Yellow Jackets is Guillermo Clark, but it looks like he's okay. On the Bulldog but I don't 33. see him coming out. No, nope, he is still out there. So there it is, Slaughter with the interception as Kisslingbury rolled the dice on first down, and Slaughter had that one well covered. Yeah, I mean, Slaughter there, he's had a huge game tonight, I mean, as we've seen. But right there, you know, that QB, you know, he threw it in a tri triple coverage there. Kisslingberry, I mean, that was one of his not as great best read tonight. You know, he's had great reads tonight, but Slaughter was allowed to get that from him there. I don't wear gloves. Here's a run that's going off to Burton. Oh, excuse me, Barton. Burton. Who's he? As he runs this one out to the eight. And picks up a, a good chunk on first down to get it down to With the 25-ish. Jay, 25 -ish. Jay stopped by Rudy Gonzalez. So big run there as both sides looking as if they're trying to uh, gently Great move away for the big play. And to try and control this a little bit more 
but just holding on to the ball as there's a low snap. Berlin is now rushed, and he's going to be brought down. All those yards from Barton taken off the board, and a huge play there after the mishandled slap from Sirius. Yeah, big play there for Winslow. I mean, they were able to come in and put that pressure on, push her on uh, that QB there for Blue Ridge Berlin. You know, they were able to get him down. They've had a couple. They've had a lot of QB pressures tonight, a lot of QB hurries. So there's another one of those. I mean, this defensive front for this Bulldogs. You know, they've been outstanding tonight. Third down and eight. That was Saletti serious. Keeping an eye on Slaughter. Slaughter's on the sideline. Yeah, he's not out there. So out wide left on the near side, I believe that's Samuel James. As they're looking in this direction, instead they're going to flip it out. Barton takes it off the deck, looking for some blocking help. He doesn't need as he gets over the 30 to the 25, very close to the James first down Barton. marker. But he's going to be short. Brought down by and Joseph I think Guerrero. they're lining this one up right on the 25. He needs to get to the 24. So gain of seven. And I don't know if this is within Granillo's range. And on fourth and one, this looks as if the Yellow Jackets are looking to go. Berlin set to go under center. James does come in motion right to left. Got a man in the backfield is Franco Harris. He gets the call, but he I don't know if he it. got it. No, he didn't. Huge stop there as wrapping him up in the backfield for the Bulldogs was Esteban Romero, and they turn it over on downs. Yeah, great job by Romero there again. You know, he's able to shed his block and bring, bring Harris back, just drop him back, you know, back to the line of scrimmage and, you know, to give up that fourth down conversion. So great job by that Bulldog Bulldog front, you know, coming off of that interception. You know, that was a big play for the Yellow Jackets and a pretty, you know, deflating thing for those Bulldogs, but they were able to come away with it and get their QB ball. Back, back to his hands. Franco's a bruiser, but he he needs a little bit of help. And he did not have much to run through. But Romero, they're really closing the gap. Getting the ball back for the Bulldogs. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left. 21-19, trailing, though unscathed after the turnover. Here's Chittenden getting it on the end around and hits hard. Brought down nice. by a couple of Yellow Jackets, especially Noah Chi. He and Chittenden were exchanging words in the first half, especially Chi. And they're uh, asking him potentially if he remembered. Do you remember what we were talking about, Chittenden? Also, there was Franco Harris as they hit him hard. And that might be our new contender for Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit of the game. Yeah, that was a great hit by Harris there. Second down and 10. This is 21-19, three receivers for the trailing Bulldogs off on the left. Chittenden coming in motion, they fake the give. Kisslingbury looking to throw this one as he wants to hit his favorite oh, target, Capuccio, wow. who's able to haul it in, but I think he's one out of bounds. One-handed catch, wow. Kisslingbury's Kisling pass to Vinny Capuccio. Heck of a catch there, too bad he was out of bounds, but wow. Zeroed in on Capuccio, he's just looking at the replay as he... Ooh, wee, that was he might close. Have, he, might have, he might have pulled that in. I think his toe was uh, uh, on the line. So third down Time and for 10. Our Yellow fans to make a little noise. But nifty. A nifty grab. Receivers on either side, Chittenden in the slot. Moving in this direction. Pressured. Try to throw this one back for Romero. He's able to juggle and catch. Now looking for some blocking help as he accelerates along the far sideline. Gets to the 30, Sierra but he's forced out of bounds. And this is shaping up the way the first half of the first quarter did where the defenses right now are dictating terms. Yeah, exactly. Romero there, you know, he had a great catch. He was able to get open. He was able to, you know, create some space. But, you know, great job by number five there on Blue Ridge. You know, Antonelli was able to come up with that tackle. And looks like they're probably in about punting formation here, so... I make a little Going noise back here. to Yellow receive is Esparza. High snap, but brought down, pressured, and getting that one away. I think that was Harris there who was making his presence felt, and it takes another giant flag. Winslow bounce. Flag in the middle of the field. This could be anything. Hey, Jackets are going to get the ball about the 24 yard line. Let's go, boys. Would be Yellow Jacket football on the 24? Maybe that's the third, 29? 
Referees are having a talk. Uh, they're still talking. Got a flag on the play. They're still talking. The, the flag, the line of scrimmage was the uh, 34. The flag is sitting on the 43. The football is all the way up at the 24. So what's going on? So there's been a signal. It looks like it's... Holding is whistled against Winslow. So they want to, Blue Ridge says move them back. And why not? I mean, it takes those huge bulldog bounces. So the ball now spotted at the 24. It's going to be 10 yards against the and Bulldogs. And move it back to fourth down and 12. And they want him to punt it again. I believe that is Esparza who is now standing near the 50. And that's going to sail over his head. You better get it. Punt it Brian away. kicking now out of the end zone. This one's a high hanger. And everybody clearing out for the Yellow Jackets. And this time it takes a Blue Ridge bounce down to the 34. Mm, that's trouble there for the Bulldogs. But, I mean, great job by that punter there. Number, uh, number eight for the Bulldogs. And Brian Larson, you know, he was able to get that punt away. I mean, he was in the end zone for about, like, three, four seconds. He was dribbling the ball around. But he was finally, get a, he was finally allowed to get it away. So. so excellent field position here for the Yellow Jackets. Actually gained yardage from uh, where they had watched their last possession kind of uh, putter out. They're still operating without Slaughter, interestingly. I wonder if he came up dinged after his interception. He's walking along the sideline right now as Berlin hands off Barton. Bounces off of one tackler at the 30 and then winds up coming all the way down like to the 27, six, gains more. six. Yeah. And the clock Stopped runs at 645, 21-19. Yellow Jackets lead and are threatening. A yeah, strong pickup there for Barton. You know, that's a strong six yards. You know, he was able to get that, you know, put it down in the field. They're already starting up with good field possession. So here they go. I and mean, they're just driving and driving and driving like they've been doing all game. Two receivers out wide left. Slaughter still off on the sideline. Can't see who is in his place as they fake the give Barton. Try to throw this one back where Spars has got it. Runs to a tackle at the 20. He's at the 10. One man to beat, but he's caught from behind. Nice pursuit there by Ty to Spain, but not before Comfort Fit Denture's first down is picked up. And it'll be first a first down. and goal for the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, Sparza there, you know, he was able to come down with that grab, but, you know, that first initial move was what was getting it, you know, was able to get him all those yardage. He was able seven. to break away from this tackle there. I mean, that blue, the, yeah, that Winslow corner came up, Quinones, and just tried lighting him up, but he wasn't able to get him. Try the run with Barton. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal. As again, both sides with so many big plays. Just watching the clock trip by, especially as the Yellow Jackets have a two-point lead. It's a pretty good defensive strategy, just holding on to the football. But they've got the two stops already, so perhaps I'm overstating this. Bigger situation is Kraus is out there playing in a spot off the line that is usually occupied by Slaughter. Now putting Esparza in motion. He goes from the left to the right. Handed off Barton this time with some room as he runs into the five. Still on his feet as he approaches Jay the goal Barton. line and is stopped shy but picks up six. A yeah, powerful run there again by Barton. You know, he just kept driving his feet, just kept chugging and chugging and chugging and was able to get down Breaks to about right the, the I mean, that closest to the goal line as you can get without getting in there. So good run by Barton. That brings in Franco Harris. He's the bruiser. Last time they used him on fourth down, just did not get enough help as the officials stopped the clock. Players coming in and out of either side. One of the biggins vacating the field for the Bulldogs, that's Guillermo Clark. He has done, done an awful lot to fill one, gaps as Harris sets up inside the one. He is in the pistol behind Berlin who's operating from the shotgun. Kraus in front of the line. 
as they hand off Harris, but he is met in the backfield and pulled back. Wow. Third down play is going to go for a loss. Wow, great job by that Bulldog front, able to shed their blocks there and you know get that touching sa touchdown saving tackle again. I mean, with, without one of their main defensive linemen coming in right there on that fourth down, I mean on that third down ball, and was able, he's you know, still able to come up with this play. So oh, it got him on the the sleeve. Mm -hmm. I thought it might have been a face mask, but it got him on the sleeve. So fourth down, they're saying on the score, but he got to the one, but I think it's closer to the three. Harris now comes out alongside Berlin on the right. Single receivers on either side. Antonelli on the left. Sparza off wide right. Shotgun snap had. Harris trying to again get ahead of steam, it. but again going to be brought down by a trio of Bulldogs. They get the stop on fourth down again. Wow, huge stop there for the Bulldogs. You know, we're able to come up with it. But this is the, it could be one of the biggest stops of the game. I mean, they were, you know, threatening. If Blurge would have scored right there, they would have gone up by a decent amount of points, and it would have put the Bulldogs in a hole. So that's a huge job by that Bulldog, Bulldog defense. Rudy Gonzalez coming Bulldogs off his block and getting the stop almost single-handedly while waiting for the remainder of his crew to gather but he was there and uh, doing most of the work to make sure Harris was not going to be able to even flirt with the goal line after they had it inside the one. No points, 21-19, getting the ball on the 35 and can't get anything to show for it now with four minutes and 36 seconds left. Keeping an eye out for Chittenden as he is off on the left. Instead, they're going to hand this one to Romero. No, they're going to keep that. Nope. Kisslingbury oh, wow. still has it as he's going to kick it out wide left and to get to the edge. He's over the 20. He's over the 30. He's got blockers in front as he's at the 40. In on his feet as he gets into Blue Ridge territory at the uh -huh. 50. And then finally staggers down at the 40. I thought he just dove trying yeah. to get some separation from the goal line. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're not really sure what happened there. I mean, you really look at this replay. He can't. Yeah, exactly. He he got stuck behind he got stuck behind number eight Larson there. He was kind of just pinned up against his back, and then he just broke out and you know had this huge gain for the by the Bulldogs here. So great run right there. Fifty-seven yard the gain out to the Blue Ridge forty, and how's that for a huge turn of events? He now has eighty yards on nine carries. Chittenden has one hundred twenty-six yards on eight carries. Man going in motion toward that. Now they're going to have a trio bunched up right off the right. Shotgun snap, had gives to Romero, run into this near side, catches the edge, gets to the 45, I beg your pardon, 35, where there's Isaiah Slaughter Romero, coming in to make sure that he gets, down, uh, gets down. Slaughter was not playing offensively over the left side. It looks like he's got something wrapped up just over his left elbow. Maybe that's a pad on his left elbow. No, it's taped up, so I wonder if he's uh, wearing something after that interception. Recall, that is when... He was no longer coming out offensively. So potentially there, a little Summit Regional Medical Center injury report. But he's out there defensively. He's out there making sure Romero doesn't get any more than three yards. Second down and seven with three and a half minutes to play. 21-19. Winslow trails as there's Chittenden coming from the right to the left. This time stays in traffic as he goes over the 35 and approaches the 30. Gains maybe four. Sets up third and short. Yeah, Chittenden. Chitt Chittenden again. I mean, he's had you know he's had tons of carries tonight. It looks like somebody. It looks like he might be injured. Yeah, that's. Looks it. like he's hanging uh, onto his left now. ankle, and that's a huge loss if he is not able to keep uh, going out there. And he's hurt. We'll. we'll uh, here's a Summit Regional Medical Center injury report, but we're going to take a break and uh, allow for him to receive some treatment on the field. Is he still flat on his back? Show the Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Chittenden is still down. We're trying just to see if we can get an idea about the severity. Oh, this is the previous play. But he he just now has been able to get up on his feet. And I mean, it's nice to see that he's able to move without any aid. But it doesn't look like uh, he's comfortable and uh, certainly not going to have that burst that we saw when he was running 52 yards for that touchdown, recall when he just outran everybody 
everybody in the Blue Ridge uniform. And the Yellow Jackets generally pride themselves on their speed. Third and three, Bulldogs. But on he the set him up with a third and three. I imagine he's going to go get retaped mm -hmm. and try to make another go Time of it. Time for the Yellow Jackets to make a little noise. In the meantime, in his ordinary spot is Brian Larson. In the backfield is tied to Spain. Wow. And now what happens? Uh, just encroachment. Defensive tackle just jumps right over the line. Drop the center. Well, that's a comfort fit. Denture's first down no matter how you get it. Trying on third and short. <laughs> Making sure it's sold. <laughs> 2.55 to go, 21-19. As the handoff is going to Spain, yeah. starting left, coming right. And getting toward the 25, gain of about three. Yeah, that was a that was a kind of a tough gain of three right there. If you relook at it, I mean that QB kind of had like a mishandle and was able to eventually hand it off. But you know that was a tough gain of three there. So these Bulldogs, I mean, yeah, they've been getting chances and chances. It just seems like they haven't been able to come second up with anything eight. in the second half so far. That was actually Romero as he gains. Well, they're going to call it two. Keeping an eye on the sideline to see if we can see Chittenden. As they now send three receivers out wide left. Larson coming in motion. Don't give it to him as it's kept instead by uh, Kislingberry, who doesn't have as near as much room as he had on that huge 57-yard run earlier on this possession. But he gains a couple to make it third down and six. With the stop. Clock continuing to run. 21-19 is the score as Kisslingbury takes the wide snap. Pressured from behind and is going to get tripped up and brought Kisling down in the Barry. backfield. Wow, Caleb Harris came off the, he came off the end really, Carlo. really, really quick. It seemed like he was able to, you know, he just kind of came in there out and blocked and was able to get that sack right there. So and he just got him right by the leg. So, yeah, great, great, great tackle there. Catching Kisslingbury unawares. That makes it fourth down. Kind of in no man's land at the 29. And it looks as if the Bulldogs are opting to go for it in the closing minutes here of the third quarter, trailing still two. I did not think a scoreless third quarter was in our future. And I guess there's still time for it to not be. As there's a shotgun snap, Kisslingbury moving to the right. Pressure starting to get to him as he throws this one up. He's got a man wide open, but overshoots him. An incomplete Larson was right at the goal line. going for it. And I can't tell if uh, he was Ryan not Larson quite yet ready for the throw or the if it was just uh, thrown that far over his head. But regardless, an opportunity lost. They just oh, turned him around. It was over his head. Yeah, I think the the routes were kind of like mis mis miscommunicated. I mean, he kind of like turned his head the other way when the ball was in the air. So just a little miscommunication there by the Bulldogs. But Blur is taking it o taking over on a pretty big possession left in this game. 56 seconds left in the third, 21-19, scoreless third quarter after all sorts of fireworks. Got one firework in the 57-yard run from Kislingbury that started on the three, but nothing to show yet as there's trips coming out to the near side, looking in this direction. Is there Slaughter back out there offensively? Catches this one, now runs to the near sideline. He's able to get by one, needing some blocking help as he's pushed from behind. A nice touchdown saving stop there by Desane. First it's a comfort down. fit denture first down, and welcome back to the action, Seth Slaughter. Yeah, there are the little, little five-yard five curl routes that these Yellow Jackets love to run, and they love throwing it to Slaughter here on that little slot. He's able to pick up a big, big gain the there Bulldog for these Jackets. 39. So, I mean, here goes these Jackets again. I mean, they've been running on offense all night. So, 136 41. yards receiving now for Slaughter. That was good for 30. 208 yards throwing Luke Berlin. As he's got Barton be next to him. Now he's running off to the right side and he's into the races as he gets down to the 30, spun down yeah, after Barton. a 10-yard gain and a comfort fit denture first down. Yeah, great great blocking on the right side of the line there by the Yellow Jackets. You know, and Barton's a not a big down. guy, so he's able to you know scoot through little holes. But there, I mean, he had a massive hole as you could see. He was able, he was able to scoot through and pick up a good good gain there for these Yellow Jackets. Put it at the 31 in Winslow territory. 20 seconds left. 21-19, the Bulldogs are trying to get a stop here as the Yellow Jackets have the lead. Hand off Barton as he again goes to that right side, steps through a tackler at the 25, and then brought down from behind by uh, Kislingbury. That's going to be the final play 
of the third the quarter. Right. No score, but once again, the Yellow Jackets are threatening, leading 21-19 going into the final. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Fourth quarter, 21-19, Blue Ridge leading. Going to have second down and three from the Winslow 23. The Yellow Jackets right now looking at the third quarter as a series of missed opportunities. Remember, a great punt was negated by a Winslow hold. Then the snap sails over Brian Larson's head. He has to kick it out of the end zone, and it lands at the 35. They've twice, and most recently from the three, had fourth down opportunities from deep in Winslow territory that they could not convert. And as a result, the Bulldogs still trail just two. But Chittenden, leading rusher for Winslow, seemingly injured. I don't believe he's out there defensively right now. And I can't see him standing along the sideline. So we have to wait and see if he's going to be a factor offensively. As now Barton gets another call, tries to go over the left side, but just gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and short. Yeah, there's that Winslow defensive front that we've yeah, seen all night. You know, they made a the good play. job there again. You know, they were able to come up with a pretty big stop on this. You know, it's a big third down here for these Jackets. So Third down and three and probably going to have two cracks at it. Two receivers out wide right, including Seth Slaughter, who missed a couple of series and now has his left elbow wrapped. Shotgun snap low, but had by Berlin. Throwing this one where he's got Slaughter open at the 10 and Pass spun down, but not before first he down, picks up the jackets. comfort fit dentures. First down inside the 10, and another Bulldog looks as if they are injured. Yeah, but beautiful slant right there by Slaughter. You know, was able to get to the middle of the field, and Berlin, you know, he saw him right off it's of that first step that he had. So beautiful route and beautiful ball. Looks like the seven. Slaughter now with 152 yards rushing as down and in a lot of pain is Joseph Guerrero. This is a Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center injury report, and he looks like he's favoring his right side. We'll allow him some privacy with 11.25 to go. 21-19, Blue Ridge leading, and inside the 10 once again on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Joseph Guerrero is uh, being given a uh, a standing eight as here you watch Slaughter back out there and Guerrero trying to spin him down. Yeah, he got stepped. Uh, oh, I, I think he, he got uh, stepped on uh, as he was spinning down. He caught the flat of Slaughter's foot in uh, that one spot that dudes don't want to get caught, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you can see it here. As he, he's just trying to spin him down. There was nothing malicious there, but that uh, – that <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to laugh. We, we've all been there, Joseph Guerrero, and you have our sympathy. 
He's still uh, trying to gather himself, so we, we will allow a little bit more time here as this is the Sholo Ford presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting-edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Joseph Guerrero has been helped off the field. And the Blue Ridge and Yellow Jackets are coming out first and goal from the seven. 11.25 to go. 21-19 as Berlin with slaughter in motion gets the call. Starts trying to find that far edge as he cuts it up and approaches the goal line trying to force Ooh. it inside but cannot do so as he stopped at the one. Mm, great. Now this is familiar territory for the Yellow Jackets. Seth. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is a huge run right here by Slaughter. You know, he's able to bounce outside. Really his, like you know, his line were able to pick up good blocks for him there and he was able to get Could dropped you? down at the one yard line. He was, he was so close to getting in there so great job by Slaughter. Couldn't see who stopped him yeah, first. There, that yeah, was, was such a, a great open field stop there mm -hmm. by one of the Bulldogs. And now the Yellow Jackets, on the previous possession, had second and goal from inside the one. Three cracks, couldn't score. As the handoff this time, Barton, and he wow. stopped shy of the line. Great. Yeah, I'm Jay pretty sure Barton that's looks like a loss 55. Of two. That was Rudy Gonzalez there, I'm pretty sure, for the Bulldogs. You know, he was able to... I don't even think he was touched. He kind of just was untouched and just bounced right through. Yeah, six, it looks like number 69 just well, they, fell down. They tried to chop, chop him on. low, and just he, he was not to be denied. Mm -hmm. No, just got right to the running back Barton there and was able to come up with a huge tackle. So Move this back to the three. and This is playing out exactly as the last drive had. Third down and three. Uh, well, I guess it's not exactly like Franco Harris is not on the field, but... Kraus is back out as he's got Slaughter off on the right side now. Oh, my goodness. They have to call a timeout before the play timeout clock is done. Fewer than 10 minutes to play. Third down and goal from the three. 21-19, the Yellow Jackets lead. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. 
Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Blue Ridge calls a timeout after it had nearly suffered a five-yard loss due to a delay of game. Now, with two timeouts remaining, Winslow still has its full allotment. And facing third and goal from the three after Slaughter's first and goal run ended inside the one. Kraus out as the quarterback, Barton on his left. Takes the snap, Kraus gonna keep, goes up the middle, tries to get it over the goal line with two men to beat, but cannot do so as they are again stopped Hunter in the Krause one. The keeper. And it's gonna be fourth goal, uh, fourth and goal. Wow, again, I mean, there's that, there's that bruising, I mean, so that linebacker, three number 30, line. was it 52, was it? 52 for the Bulldogs, um, number. Esteban Romero finished it. I'm pretty sure that was 32 for the Bulldogs. Moss. Terrell, Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, Mas I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, but that was a great. I mean, that you saved that touchdown there, man, and that, that he was he was gonna he was gonna get right in there. So great job by number 32. So fourth and goal. They're still calling it the three. Blue Ridge has had eight plays around the five, and so far no points to show for it uh, as they give it to Barton, and he gets again. cut down. That is a, a Deemer's glass glass shattering hit candidate. Yeah, that was made by the QB of Winslow, like K Kissingbury. He was able to just come through there untouched out of a safety position, and and there he was. He got Barton, he just and lit him up. First to ten Bulldogs. Wow, I mean, that's a huge, huge stop for the Bulldogs there. So Blue Ridge has eight plays around the five, two plays inside the one, four plays inside the three on the last two possessions, no points. Still leading 21 to 19 with nine minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Kisslingbury, who had just had uh, Kisslingbury, beg your pardon, had a 57-yard run from this spot. Now he's throwing it. Has, uh, beg your pardon, Larson, Brian Larson Master caught Brian at Larson the 10 complete. and then run out to the 15. Might be right, shy. Down, nope, they're going to say that is a comfort fit. Denture's first down and a gain of 10. First completion, I believe, for Kisslingbury in the second half. He's now over the century mark. Larson's second reception as he now has 24 yards. And the clock ticking to nine minutes. There has been no points scored by either side here in the second half after firework after firework occurred in the first half. Now from the shotgun, handoff from Merrow. Nope, they fake it. Gonna bring this one around, and it's Chittenden. Remember, he had the bad ankle as he hesitates, trying to find some space. Can't slam on the brakes like he had previously Chittenden. now that he's working with that ankle. But he Noah still G. is able to gain nine and be very close to a first down marker. Yeah, this is a, that was a great pickup there. I mean, Chittenden, you know, he came out of that. He was injured. I mean, he's still a little slow to get up, but he was able to get up field there and pick up a good nine yards here for these Bulldogs. So this, is, this will be another big third down, big third, big down, big third down. It might. Might have picked it up. The the chain gang seems as first. if it's uh, halfway, and I think that uh, I think they made it. Oh no, they they might be tangled up. Um, hold on now. The Bulldogs don't realize that uh, yeah, they push up. pause. I think that right now they're they're just trying to get a look from the opposing end, and now now they are going to bring the chains out. So it's very very close. There's 8:24 to go. 21-19. Chittenden has at worst a nine-yard gain on that first down play, and they got to bring it all the way the width of the field to try to stretch it out. <laughs> Going to be about an inch, maybe two. So second down. And inches. The Yellow Jackets game of inches has right now been uh, coming up frustratingly. Mm -hmm. Winslow, of course, in a much, much, much different circumstance, needing to pick up a couple of inches just to continue to drive. 
Winner of this one has its playoff hopes alive. Neither side is going to be able to make a case to the computers without a win today. So this is a very, very, very big ball game. I guess if Blue Ridge is able to knock off Round Valley, the Elk who've already won are, are going to have so many wins that maybe that impresses the computers. But th this is essentially a playoff game in many different respects. Is here. The Bulldogs facing second down and very few. Handed off to Larson. Steps away from a man as he's trying to get to the far side of the field. Finally, he's able to. No, I spoke too soon. He's going to be spun down, but he does pick up the country, excuse me, uh, the uh, comfort fit denture first down. First and 10, Bulldogs. Picks up four and has a comfort fit dentures first down. Let me tell you. Less than eight minutes to go. 21-19. Winslow trails, but it has the football. On its own 27, this drive started at the three after another goal line stand. Coming in motion is Chitton. Didn't fake the handoff to him. Instead, give Romero as he tries to find a little bit of room moving up the uh, center of the field gains two. Yeah, good job right Isaiah here for the, this Blue Ridge defense. I mean, these last two, two, these last two possessions, you know, they've been running plays and they've been able to, you know, hold them pretty well and they've been able to do do what they're supposed to be doing here. So this is a Blue Ridge. I mean, yeah, they. It's like what Derek was saying earlier. I mean, this is this is like a playoff game for both of these teams. So it's kind of like a win or lose, go home situation here. So clock motoring towards seven. Chittenden. Off the line on the left, starts moving to the right. Fake the handoff to him. Kisslingbury, jump pass, has a man caught at Romero. It's over the 35-40 into midfield where he's spun down. A comfort fit Denture's first Romero down and a gain down, of 23. Of course, beautiful Franco ball by Harris Kissingbury the there, but you also have to look very, you know, a little more off the field. You know, the they had great stadium. blocks upfield, number Keeps eight of the Bulldogs. Right Brian Larson, you know, he's able to pick out that huge block in Exparza and Two give, you know, Romero maybe four Keeps or five yards. If, if he wouldn't have gotten that block, he would have been taken down about four or five yards before. So great job by those guys. Into Blue Ridge territory, six minutes and 40 seconds left. This drive started at the three. 21-19, the Bulldogs trail is here. Pass had to Capuccio. He starts inside, tries to bounce it back out, gains eight. Pass to Vinny Capuccio. Is 135 complete. yards now. Second Nine of 17 eight, is Kisslingbury. That's only Capuccio's second pass. His first was a 47-yard touchdown. Again, methodically working up the field. Had a couple Again, of big bounces, but otherwise it's $2. just been a slow, steady grind. Drive approaching the three-minute mark, yeah, still trailing two. Yellow Jackets, stand, if they, they aren't able to hang on, got club. two possessions that ended inside the three. Couldn't get any points out of it. Is now coming in motion. Larson, he gets the call, bounces off of a couple of tacklers, and is able to pick up the first Brian down with a gain of five. Yeah, great, great, great run down. right there by Larson. You know, he was he was initially stopped in the backfield right there by kind of his own guy and a, and a Blue Ridge defender too, number 12 on Blue Ridge. Kalo Harris, you know, Mary he came Rosales up and was able to push the Winslow Harris lineman the into the back of back of um, into his running back. So you were right there, I mean, but you also have to give props to Larson, able to bounce upfield and pick up that first down. It's interesting that the longer the game goes on, uh, it seems as if it's more difficult for the Yellow Jackets to recognize these fakes. Chittenden now off in the slot on the right side. Larson coming in motion to the left. Fake the toss to him, turn and give Romero. As he gets into the second oh, level, wow. he has got lots of green. He is at the 10, he is at the five, he is in the end zone. A Mountain Jay Mobile Romero. Autoglass touchdown. touchdown. And the Winslow Bulldogs strike first in the second half to take a 25-21 lead. Wow, huge run right there by Romero and great call by that Winslow uh, offensive coordinator over there. I mean, he was able to get all those Blue Ridge guys to shift over to that first running back and he was able to hand it off to Romero there. And Great up front blocking by those offensive linemen of the Bulldogs and he just was able to take off with that speed that he has. So, you know, that's a huge touchdown for these Bulldogs. Going for two to try and make it so that the pressure would be on while trying to get an extra point. Romero, who had the run, is in the backfield, trying to serve as an extra blocker. This one's thrown right at the goal line, but Chittenden cannot haul it in. That pass was perfectly placed. I don't know if it was just a little too hot, but he couldn't get it, so it's going to be 25-21. The Bulldogs lead Yellow with 522 to play. Solo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. 
When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. It's been a while, but remind you that if you're going to kick off your college education, you ought to go to Northland Pioneer College. Got $40 credit hours. That's the cheapest in the state. So kick it off at Northland Pioneer College as the Bulldogs go 97 yards and are able to score it with a 27-yard scamper from Isaiah Romero. Now for the first time since it was 13-7, to Winslow is in front. And the Yellow Jackets right now having to put in the rear view mirror so many Chance, opportunities inside the three. The Two of them coming inside the one. Elamance no Nelly. points to show Back for it. For the but Jackets. they've been able to move the football. As here is a short kick that's taken by Antonelli, running right up the middle and tripped up at the 30, but as Inertia takes him to the 35. So Elamance good field position. To they got to get it into the end zone, trailing four. Yeah, great Garcia. open field tackle there, though, by Travis Chavin Tra Garcia of that, you know, that Bulldog kicking off kickoff team. You know, he was able to get that leg tackle there. And who knows? I mean, yeah, he had two other people to meet him there, but who knows? He could have broke away from those, so that could have been a touchdown saving tackle there. Going to be a 65-yard field with five minutes and 17 seconds left. Luke Berlin, who's thrown for 224 yards on 10 of 17 opportunities is coming out and will operate with Barton on his side. Drop now thrown into the pressure as it's deflected. Ooh. That's Kisslingbury who nearly followed it up with an interception, but a great play by the quarterback trying to secure the win. Yeah, exactly, but huge, huge, Whoa, huge pressure there by Rudy Gonzalez. And again, he came off on touch on that end and he was able to get into the quarterback's face where he made that dangerous pass and was almost intercepted there by Kisslingbury. Second down and 10. Yellow Jackets slow getting to the line. Lots of time to work with as Slaughter not on the field. Got Kraus in his stead. Starting off now behind the line. Coming out of the backfield, Barton throw it out to him. He's going to have to make one man miss. Can do so, but no blocking help as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Trying to stay in the way was Hunter Kraus, but he just kind of whiffed on every Chase opportunity Barton. to block. And Barton yeah. by able to get back to the line serious. of scrimmage, but nothing more. And here comes a big third down play. This is not yet something that you could say is going to be the ball game, but it's a big third there's down. time running short. Four minutes and 40 seconds left. Third down and 10. Slaughter not on the field once again. Got two receivers going out wide to the left. Berlin's looking in that oh. direction. Has a man caught at the 40, turn it up to the 45. That's Esparza at the 50. And first finally down, brought down in Jackets. Winslow territory as a comfort fit denture first down on a gain of 16. Jake yeah, Esparza good hook up there between reception. Berlin and Esparza. Esparza was able to make that, you know, a beautiful ball and a great catch. And he was able to make that first man miss and was able to Keaton pick up about five or six tackle. extra yards after the catch. So great move and was it? Great pickup of that first down there. I mean, Esparza again, I and mean, he was able to make that perfect first move and was able to pick up that much needed first down for these Jackets. Four point deficit as Barton now weaves his way through traffic, bounces outside and holding on for dear Chase life Barton and potentially a touchdown up. saving Maybe play. As uh, I, I think that was uh, our number 32, who was able just to hold on to his shirt tails. Tyrell. Yes, it was. Mas Unfortunately, Mas I can't say that Mas name. Mas but big shout out for a big stop in the open field. Gain of six makes it second down and four. Under four minutes and into the neutral zone again come the Bulldogs. This time the greatest was uh, Rudy Gonzalez. So that ought to be enough. Yards. For a comfort fit down, Denture's Yellow first down. But they're in this situation with the Yellow Jackets having first already used a timeout. Slaughter coming back on the field. They're not going to be able to 
stop Jackets make play by two times if they aren't able to get into the end zone. So much more so than the clock is the distance right now as they got it inside the 40. Slaughter off the right edge as Esparza comes in motion to the near side. Handoff is going to Slaughter as he starts forcing his way straight up wow. the gut, gets down Good to the set. 30, gains like nine. Gain that nine. beautiful exchange on that backfield there by those running backs. Yeah, that was that was perfect. And Slaughter, you know, he was able to bounce up field He's and get into that, in that second level and, you know, was able to pick up this huge first down. Uh, he's, he's just a yard short. Oh, just a yard short. Just but a yard short. Takes it down to the 30. And right now the Yellow Jackets. <laughs> 245 and ticking, trailing four. Here comes Berlin moving to the right side. Throws this one where he's got a man after the defense falls down. Grabbed by Esparza. And he's in the end zone for the score. Wow, huge throw right there by Berlin to Esparza to, you know, go up in this game right here. Wow, that's that's a huge throw right there for that freshman quarterback. And he was able to come up with that beautiful, beautiful throw right there by Berlin to Esparza, you know, able to get into that end zone there. So, man, these Yellow Jackets, I mean, this is like one of the first Blue times Berlin's they've been able to score in the second Spurs half right here. So that's huge. Great don't don't know what ball. had happened. Slipped the defenders the fell slipped. down. It is cold, and I bet there is a bit of moisture on the grass. As this is trying to make it an eight or a three-point game, Granillo with the snap down. It's low and good. And it's so 28-25. Winslow's going to have two minutes and 33 seconds to work with. The closing minutes here, it's a tight one. And Cholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Cholo. People are saying to me, hey Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value, what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, do so at Northland Pioneer College and pay the lowest tuition in the state. Yellow Jackets go 65 yards and are able to convert on a 30-yard pass play between Esparza and Berlin, who has now thrown for 270 yards. But this game's far from over. Three Granillo to kick off for the Yellow Jackets. Granillo's going to kick it off, and if he's got one of them touchbacks in his repertoire, huge. this would be a good time to uh, whip it out. He's got Capuccio, who's waiting at the 10. They're going to kick this one short. Angle this one at the 30, and a big hit as it's going to be spun down after the first man there for the Yellow Jackets was Noah Chi. Uh, great job by Chi there. I mean, able to come up with that massive hit, yeah, but, you know, they were going to have great field position. I mean, they already have it, yeah, but that's a huge, huge tackle there. going to be first to 10 Bulldogs on their 34-yard line. So a short field, though, for the Bulldogs, starting on their own 35. 2.32 to go, trailing 28-25, calling this one a playoff game. It remains an opportunity for whomever is able to win this. Chittenden, who missed time after rolling over his ankle, is going to go out to the right side. He's off in the slot. Man coming in motion is Larson. He joins everybody off on that right. Kislinbury has time as they throw this one into double coverage. Esparza nearly with the pick. As he was there stride for stride was number 13. We don't have his name. But the intended man was Capuccio. And an interesting yeah, well, effort there yeah, after the Yellow Jackets have been kidding. having such a hard time Break stopping the run. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing there. I mean, to come out of the gate and throw a shot like that, you know, it's pretty risky. But, but um, yeah, I mean, but, whew, man, it's like what Derek was saying. I mean, they've been tough stopping this run game so far, I mean, this whole game. So I'm surprised they haven't done that. But who knows, maybe they were just trying to catch them off guard there. Two receivers on either side. Single back is Romero. Instead looking to throw, but it's going to be blown up. Eventually get that to Chittenden, but he is surrounded and eventually brought down for a loss. Yeah, great job by that. You know, that's a huge yeah, stop for that boys' defense, but there is a flag. Uh -oh. so. And it's...
holding number 63 on the offense, 10 yards, still second down. Be 10 yards to the spot of the foul, it's gonna put it at. It's a 10 yard holding flag. It's and like the, second the and 24. Clock. Or the game clock, I beg your pardon. Arguably the greater enemy. As here come three receivers out wide left. Chittenden just off the line on the left side. And they're looking in this direction with Kissling Burry, who is now going to roll to the right. Still looking to the left side as he throws behind his intended man and a flag comes out late. This may be another hole. Kisling's in pass to Tavian Garcia is not complete. Flag on the play. Band playing Thriller, tis the season. As Winslow's already walking it back. No, we're, we're hold on here. Uh, they, they're ready to walk it off, but, all right, there it goes. Offense. Half the distance to the goal, repeat second down. They have to move it all the way out to the 45 to get a first down. There's two minutes and 11 seconds to go. The line of scrimmage is the nine. So it is, be second and well, they're calling long. it second and Bold 35. Balls. They're on about the eight yard line. Seth Slaughter, Antonelli, Esparza, and Barton are all 25 yards away from the line of scrimmage. Kisslingbury with a man in motion. He's going to drop back to the goal line, swing this out. Trittenden going to take this one, run away from one tackler still on his feet as he gets over the 20. And he's outside Chitton to, uh, well, to well he's approaching the, the 30. Well, they say he gets to the 25. Stop by Frank yeah, great, Harris. Great throw and catch there by that, you know, that Bulldog. I mean, they've been going to each other all night and he was able to make a man miss on the sideline. Was able to gain about three or four more yards. He could have jumped out of bounds, but he was like able to pick up three or more more and then get out of bounds right there. Well, he only gained ten, I guess. So now they're moving the pocket to the right side. Pressure coming from behind. Unloads, throws high and incomplete. Jeez, that's a, another Garcia job there for that Bulldog receiving crew. I mean, Kisslingbury, he's been he's been placing these balls all night, and just right there, I mean, there was another job. He's great job by him to roll out to his right and you know completely make that pass. Yeah, but take just, it by Winslow was not completed. Timeout taken by the Bulldogs. We'll take it with them. Final gasp for Winslow, trailing 28-25 with a minute and 37 seconds to go. It's Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. All right, minute and 37 seconds to go. 28-25 on fourth down and 25. He got five Blue Ridge defenders. And just can't let 20, anything behind you right 20 now. 20 yards away from the line of scrimmage is Kissling Burry. Steps oh. back and is going to get pounded. Wow. Wait, that's a huge way to end the game right there. Franco Harris, who couldn't get into the end zone on three different tries, ends the ball game with a huge sack. And that, that's got to be the glass shattering hit of the game. That's yeah. got to be the glass shattering play of the game. Wow. Call Deemer's Glass for all your glass needs. 1 888 Glass Man. Tell him Franco Harris sent you. Boom. Smacked him. Great hit right there by Harris. All the Yellow Jackets need to do is take a knee. They come into the week number 16 in the power rankings. 
Don't know what else is going on up or below them, First but the jacket, this so seems the as if it's going to be enough to hold on to that spot. Now going to host Round Valley with an opportunity to clinch. Minute and 33 seconds left. Krause is out as quarterback. And, well, well he's going to run it and goes to the right side. Winslow can stop and play twice more, I believe, and Hunter opts Krause to with do the keeper. so. Phoenix Suns are in Portland, now leading 107-106 after Devin Booker knocks down a 16-foot jumper. He now has 31. Try to take a look at what else is going on around. We already heard that uh, the uh, Round Valley Elk have come out conquerors. The Sholo Cougars are playing host to uh, Monument Valley, which is currently in the uh, power rankings after knocking off these Yellow Jackets last week. I believe they are checking in at 12. Round Valley beats Page 50 to 12. Eastmark beats Coolidge 56 to six. Push Ridge all over Palo Verde, but that's not a surprise. Florence beats right, ALA Ironwood, make some noise. They are contending with uh, Round Valley for a, a home field first round ball game. Is Krause back out there? He's going to again keep it. Bounces this one to the outside. Stays on his feet as he goes to the far sideline and runs Hunter out of Krause bounds. Out of but bounds. is very close to a comfort fit. Dench like first gain down. Of five on that. Yeah, great job right there by Hunter Krause. I mean. Not 100% sure why he went out of bounds there and then it just slide down, but I mean, it looks like the I mean, it kind of looks like these Yellow Jackets are trying to punch it in here for a shutout. I mean, to just put this game away with a score. Mojave beat Parker 55 to six. They are the number 10 team in this week's power rankings. And Luke Berlin coming in. And. Luke Berlin's going to come in as quarterback facing third down and four with a minute and 14 seconds left, leading three. The Sparza in motion, right to left, and a delay of game. Nope, timeout, timeout taken by Blue Ridge. Ridge. We'll continue to scroll through Yellow the scores here. Northwest Christian beat Peoria 41-6. to six. That's a big one for the Lobos. It's... Uh, Northwest yeah, Christian was uh, number 14 in week. the power rankings. On Thursday. Bradshaw Mountain beat Prescott 20 to 14. That's a big one for Lobos because they game. were 16. Round Valley Elks are going to be here. Game starts uh, at 6 o'clock on uh, Thursday. Scrolling, scrolling through the scoreboard, uh, trying to see if we can get a Sholo score. Post and Butte is beating something called BFHS. Is that where your bestie goes to I school? I think that's Benjamin Franklin. Oh, that makes more sense. Benjamin Franklin. That's a 40 to 13 score. And I didn't see Sholo on here. As the Yellow Jackets are back out. Trips going to the right. Looking to throw as this one's into the end zone. Wow. And it's caught for a score. Esparza wow, what a beautiful touchdown. throw right there by Berlin to Esparza. I mean, that to ice this game. That was a, traffic. Yeah, that was a beautiful throw. I mean, he fit that through about two to three defenders' hands and was able to just ride that line and get it right to Esparza. Yellow Jackets 34, Bulldogs 25. Reed Granillo coming in for the extra point. Is that ought to Great grab. It. And he lost vision of that ball. I mean, there was hands in his face. There was hands going through the ball. I mean, what a catch. Granillo in for the extra point to make it a 10-point game. And, and with good. just 70 seconds remaining, Yellow Jackets 35, Bulldogs to 25. Do it. But we'll keep it here as the Yellow Jackets were trailing not that long ago. It was 25-21 after Winslow. Denied, and then went 97 yards. And the Yellow Jackets had to pick themselves off the mat, but they did it. Got coaches hey, spilling out. Hey, we got out. a birthday shout out for the coach, you know Luke Peters. Means. 
getting ready for a Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, do so. At Northland Pioneer College, you'll pay the lowest tuition in the state. This game's been going on for a while. It's a quarter to 10. <laughs> Remember a few hours ago when Esparza was tackled by the hair? That feels like it was a while, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Gonna try yeah, to, I would again, imagine, though. kick this one again short. Uh-huh. Don't want to uh, allow any of these Winslow playmakers an hey, opportunity to run anything back. Off. Here comes Granillo on the approach. And again, a short kick. This one's going to be gathered in and no fair catch call. So bringing the hammer. How about it, Noah Chi? He says, I, I got some glass to shatter. Looks like a Tony flag. Avila with the reception. A flag does come out. So the understanding was it was Noah a, Chi with the tackle flag on the play. I'm not sure what they're calling on that. I think that uh, the, the receiver had given himself up. And, uh oh the uh, fair catch should have been assumed. Blue Ridge sideline not in agreement. Oh, we haven't had a signal yet. Hit on a fair catch, 15 yards, first down. So fair catch was called. So it's going to be a personal foul, 15 yards against and the that, Yellow Jackets. Uh, is not what the Yellow Jackets wanted. Is that'll move it up 70, uh, 15 yards into Blue Ridge territory again? 70 seconds remaining. So, throwing this one where it's headed by Capuccio, who is still wow. on his feet and down the sideline. Trying to make one man miss, but he's going to be pushed out of bounds by Slaughter, who just saved the touchdown. There's one minute to play, Slaughter, but and we're not done yet. Yeah, this game's not over yet. Not I mean, you know, he was able to break line. through like three or four kind of lazy tackles there, and he was able to go for, I mean, what, Looks 20, like 30 yards I mean, on that catch. On five. And, oh, man, what, what these Bulldogs yeah. are able to do in traffic is yeah. quite impressive. But now, man, first and goal from the four. Again, just think of the opportunities the Yellow Jackets have lost in the same situation. Now dropping back, looking to throw. Kisslingbury winds up and has that one incomplete and thrown through an awful lot of traffic. Yeah, that was a uh, – I think he was just trying to force something into the end zone here. I mean, they only have a minute left in this game, and, you know, he's just trying to make something happen. So I agree with what he was doing, but, you know, maybe he – no took like like a play. little bit of time or maybe looked around for a little bit of more, but maybe able to find somebody open. 52 seconds left. It's amazing how different the clock feels when you're uh, starting plays in the shadows of the opponent's end zone relative to, you know, the 35. So coming back to the line of scrimmage, Chittenden is off on the slot, but his running plays require an awful lot of time to develop. Carlo Harris is trying All to right, signal All right, Yellow Jackets, to the, let's make some noise here. Signal to the sideline. I just now saw that the uh, White Hat is over trying to work with the Blue Ridge coaching staff to try to get more time on the clock. All of the coaches vacated their uh, – Do we have the ball? Okay, good. It's going to go to Buck, trust. 56 seconds left. As there's three receivers, that includes over here Cap uh, Capuccio on the near side, but rolling away from him. Trying to get throw this toward the goal line, and it's again dropped. Oh, that's, uh, that's two big drops right there. I mean, Chittenden, I mean and his quarterback, I mean, he's been able to find ways to get open all night. 
Matthew G Kissenberry has been able to hit him and has been between the numbers every time he's been able to get it to him. Just hasn't been able to. Oh, right in the bread basket. Hasn't been able to haul it in yet, but third and goal. Would have been a big touchdown. Yeah, and it's a 10-point game, but 50 seconds remain. That's a lot of time if, if a uh, an onside kick could be recovered if if they're able to get into the end zone here. He's still got two cracks. Third and goal from the four. Shotgun snap had pressure coming, and he's brought down. It's Franco Harris again. Again, Harris with another clutch tackle. It looks like he might be a little hurt, Harris. but I mean, he was able to come up with two big sacks in these in this in this fourth quarter here for the Yellow Jackets. Winslow does not have a timeout, so the clock runs to 30 seconds to play. Got the ball set outside the 10. Kisslingbury, and hold on a minute, Blue Ridge wants to take a timeout. You got a timeout. But we'll Call take it Blue with Ridge. them. 35-25, the Yellow Jackets lead, but just lost 25 seconds to Winslow after that sack. It's Shoulder Ford's presentation of high school football on italk1067.com. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Okay, 27 seconds left. 35-25, Blue Ridge leads. I've said this before, and it proved to be premature, but here's the ball game. Kisslingbury got Romero on his right. Capuccio all alone on the left. Rolls the pocket away from him. Harris is there, and he brings him and down. And this time, surely, that's going to be the ball game. Yeah, great job by Harris. I mean... If you want to talk about Daniel a candidate Salas for player of the game, the I mean, we got one right here. He's, 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 he's all hurt. He's, hurt he's been ribs. able to make three huge sacks in this last part of this fourth quarter. Yeah, Summit Regional Medical Center injury report as Franco Harris walks all the way to the 40-yard line, holding on to what I'm assuming are his uh, lowest ribs. This is a, uh, a playoff game for all intents and purposes. God. So now the Yellow Jackets, uh, I'm assuming, are taking a knee. I I can't say that this is going to put Blue Ridge in the playoffs, but uh, I think this is going to do a lion's share of the work. Got one more with Round Valley as they hold on to win 35 to 25. Winslow is not going to get into the playoffs. The Yellow Jackets got another Don't forget Thursday try. night we have a game against Round Valley right here. It's a final. We'll start wrapping it up after this. Show the Ford's presentation of high school football at talk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. 35-25, the Yellow Jackets win. Playoff dreams still alive. As we will continue to uh, just work through this as the uh, the Horn Auto Center drive of the game. 
There's a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there, there's tons of drives. There was, there was a ton of good drives tonight. I mean, especially by both teams, but especially by Blurridge as well. I mean, we're just going to have to figure this one out. I don't know which one really to well, choose. Well, I, I guess you got to go with the uh, the go-ahead drive where the yeah. uh, Yellow Jackets fall down 25-21 mm -hmm. and are able to get it into the end zone after having failed to do so with short opportunities throughout the second half. But uh, get, get to uh, Jake Esparza on a 30-yard pitch and catch, and that one is going to give him the lead. So that that is the Horn Auto yeah, Center definitely. drive of the half. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely it. I mean, Esparza and Berlin, I mean, they connected all night. They've had their thing going with each other for a while now, especially tonight. They had a heck of a game together. They were able to, you know, they had that one touchdown to basically seal this game up. So, yeah, those two guys, I mean, they had a heck of a game. So hats off to those guys. There have been an awful lot of Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit moments, but I think we like Franco Harris, who yeah. seemingly hurt himself on a couple of these. Two big sacks. Both on fourth down, both icing different moments of the ball game. Franco Harris responsible for the Deemer's glass glass shattering hit of the game. Call one eight 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 Glassman for all your glass needs. And the Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game. Again, got to go back to that thirty yard reception between Esparza and Berlin. Berlin winds up throwing for two hundred seventy yards. But really, the player of the game, Seth Slaughter, who had one hundred fifty two yards catching. 42 yards running, an interception, an injury. He was everywhere. Yeah, Austin Slaughter, I mean, yeah, definitely. Player of the game tonight. I mean, that kid had a heck of a game. Exactly what Derek just said. I mean, he just read off all of his stats. I mean, that's that's, that's how you win a player of a game. I mean, he had a heck of a game. He was able to complete all those passes. He was able to catch all those from his quarterback and all those defensive reads he was able to make. He was able to be a captain on that defense side of the ball and was able to, you know, make his leadership a priority and was able to, you know, help out all of his teammates and shoot, help out them with a win with how big of a priority he is to this team. Last call here at Blue Ridge High School, 35-25. The Yellow Jackets win and are continuing to try to play themselves into the playoffs. For everybody else here, I'm Derek Palmer. We'll talk to you again next week to be determined, but we'll be somewhere. Thank you so much for starting your weekend with us. Look forward to it tomorrow or next week. Have a good night. Hey, everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. People are saying to me, hey, Joe, what's going on with these used car prices? Well, we have to use live market value when we take people's vehicles in on trade. We're giving top dollar right here at Horn Auto Center using live market value what vehicles are selling for in the last 90 days. Horn Auto Center, the Chevy and GMC store that saves you more. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. 
Since 2006, Beeler Orthodontics has been creating spectacular smiles in the White Mountains. Dr. Beeler and his team use innovative technology and cutting edge orthodontics while still providing a hometown experience. From traditional braces and clear aligners to surgical orthodontics, Dr. Beeler works with smiles of all ages. So call them today to schedule a complimentary exam at 928-537-7775 or visit them at BeelerOrtho.com. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. This has been Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 1067 KNKI Pine Top and iTalk1067.com. Brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Beamer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint, Comfort Fit Dentures, Summit Regional Medical Center. Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport and Horn Auto Center. This broadcast has been a copyrighted production of iTalk 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves, a Kopanicki communication station. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of this broadcast without the expressed written consent of iTalk 1067 or Country Mountain Airwaves is strictly prohibited. For more information on this game and other games around the region, go to iTalk1067.com.